excited and wanting to give their best. In fact, both the matches have been outstanding. All were well fought. In fact, we couldn't say that any match it could be anybody's game. So that was the way the match had gone off. And here is uh, the bowler warming up. And the plan is to score, post a total of 150. Let's see if that is possible. And uh, Mumbai is, does not want a total of more than 120. So let's see who wins in their mission. It is really very hard to say who will win the match. Yeah, that is uh, this thing. Uh, all are well trained. Uh, and here is Sachin Siva facing the first ball. The captain of Chennai Superstars. Okay, and he plays it right away in the gap. And he takes a save. She completed the second. And they are going for the third. Brilliantly placed shot. And the very good start to the match with three balls, three runs taken off the first ball through well-placed shot. And the bowler is S. Maresh. And the other batsman is Rajesh, a left-hander who is taking his guard. It's always good to have a start with the first ball going for three runs. Uh, and sometimes we see about four runs also. Uh, so this, was, uh, this adds to a lot of confidence to the opening batsman to get it, the ball right and then take off from there. With the very first ball, they have showed that they are going to play so aggressively. That is, that is the spirit of the cricket. And that is the beauty of uh, the game. You fight hard. And there is Maresh. And played correctly, fielded, and he moved right behind the ball, tapped it to the fielder, and so, and that is Sana Maresh, who has played two matches and given away 22 runs, and he moves in, and it is down the leg side, and it's a wide, and that's a wide. And uh, a slight lapse of control to this uh, delivery. And left-handed Rajesh. And that was a good ball. And right on target. Uh, so four runs so far. They would expect to not lose uh, an early wicket uh, and go on, isn't it? That is what their plan should be. Yeah, definitely. And the move, ball moved so much that it was declared a wide. So we have uh, Rajesh and Sachin having a look at the bowling and wanting to go on. Uh, Gazelle, uh, tell me uh, how much of uh, uh, planning goes into such a tour? Hmm. And that is played square of the wicket for a brilliant boundary. A very well placed, executed and neatly placed. And that's the first boundary of the match. And there. He goes square and pick the gaps and the ball races to the boundary. So as we talked about, how much planning does go into such a tournament? I think Sachin has planned that no any single ball to miss. According to me, it is my own opinion. I don't know what he has planned because he never shares. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is. Captains are very secretive only to their teammates. <laughs> yeah, very clever captain we can say. Sachin yes, Shiva. Yeah. They play a lot of cricket, isn't it, in Chennai? Yeah. And uh, nine for no loss in four balls as Maharish bowls. 
And there's a loud appeal. It has rapped on the cards, but the umpire says it was going down the stamp. So no chance of a leg before. And but it's a good delivery that came in. The ball is slightly moving in. And and now for the last time in this over. And that was picked very well off the leg. And just a sinker. So 10 runs coming off the first over. Good start. Very good shots. And the bowling was on target, but still they managed 10 runs. That is uh, remarkable. This was a good, up strong appeal because the bowler felt that it could have hit the stumps. But uh, a smiling umpire sets not out. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to share something about umpires. Right. I don't know you know or not that all the umpires are physically challenged. Yeah, and they are also qualified umpires from yeah. the council. Yeah, isn't definitely. Ah. And uh, do they get a lot of matches? They also officiate in the international with matches which you have uh, yeah. organized? Uh, for uh, two, three umpires, it is the very first match, first international match. Okay, okay. In India, they have uh, done a lot of matches. They do a lot of matches. Yeah. Huh? This, uh, that is very uh, encouraging and, uh, and that is... Uh, as a, as a, at a, at a, a time when umpires are uh, at the receiving end, it is very good to have, get a lot of matches and uh, boost this. Uh, many, are there many umpires coming up also? Uh, four umpires we have. Okay, okay. And here is Makan Singh Rajput. And oh! what, a, what a delivery, a beauty of a delivery. That mood late and knocked the Austin back. A, a class delivery is so thrilled by that. He, to, he deserves to celebrate that delivery because it was a beauty of a delivery which pitched and moved away to, to knock back the Austin. And that is the first wicket to go. Look at that delivery. It beat him Beautiful. all ends and knocked the Austin back. It it's moved slightly away and made beat the batsman's bat and knocked the off stump back. And that is and that is the first wicket to go. Ten for one and and Rajesh walks back to the pavilion. And the next batsman is Karthik who has reached the crease and uh, to get a wicket of the first ball Makin must be really thrilled and that too to produce a lovely delivery definitely it was a beautiful delivery the, I think a, a, any good batsman would have got out for that delivery because that mood in late that's a classic delivery and here we see the VIPs at the sit out and here is Karthik warming up to play a long innings it is needed as an early wicket has fallen as uh, Makan gets ready for his next delivery After Sachin Shiva had played, scored three runs, not a delivery, but now Karthik is out to face Makan, who bowled a beauty of a delivery to get a wicket off the first ball. And look at the way he is resting the ball. He has only one hand. He holds it in very appreciatingly what a beautiful way of you know see the the way he holds the ball and then rotates it and look at the seam he, across the seam and he moves in and that was also a beauty of a delivery but a well glided through for a slip 
and that fetches him four runs. That was a good delivery, but the batsman saw it late and Karthik played it late and would have, would have made a, a GR Vishwanath proud because they see the way he had done it. He played it and then and he glided it beautifully a late, a late cut which went in through and to the boundary. And uh, uh, you, are, you must have heard, seen Karthik also in action in many matches and uh, how has he been? Yeah, he is such a nice player. As we are seeing, uh, on the very first ball, he has uh, put the ball out of the boundary for four. And, uh, and that was another beauty of a delivery from Makan. And uh, from the cricketing point of view, uh, as a CEO, what all do you uh, otherwise also plan from the uh, point of view of players' facilities? Uh, uh, for the facilities, I should say that uh, they also deserve the facilities that we are uh, giving to our normal cricketing, uh, cricketing teams and uh, all the players that are getting normal facilities, they should have. But they have to compromise. Uh, more teams are willing to play in this league now. Now there are six teams and now more teams are planning. What do you say? Yeah, a lot of teams we have. And uh, from these only are 90 players from all over the India. We do have a lot of players in India also. They are also uh, planning and they are also dreaming to play on such an international stadium, such an inter international ground. And that was played off the leg. And uh, another good delivery for Makan. And... Uh, this Makan seems to be on the spot, a very accurate bowler. Uh, he's a very tricky bowler, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, that is why Brajesh Dwedi trusted him. Yeah, 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 it looks like. Because he's on the spot. Look at the uh, deliveries he has bowled. All the four deliveries were excellent. And, uh, Both the teams are rough and tough. Both the captains are rough and tough. Yeah, as you said, it will be an intense fight, it looks like. And uh, well played. The ball came in and that was very well played by Karthik. And that was a superb, superb delivery and well handled. The, the batsman gave the respect to the delivery that it deserves. And uh, from, uh, you know, coaching perspective, do you have to also make many arrangements uh, for the players? Uh, as it is not possible for us to maintain their coaching and all, they used to manage uh, their coaching by themselves. Some are taking from colleges, some are taking from schools, so some, are, some are having their own coaches who can afford their coaches. They are uh, able to afford coaches they have. And uh, how big a news was this that this team is coming uh, to Sharjah and playing and uh, the first... Uh, Premier League is being held. Yeah, uh, I, I must say that uh, not only India, all over the world is putting their eyes on this tournament because it is the biggest tournament of physically challenged cricket. That's true, that's true. Yeah. So two overs down and so it's 17 for one. Uh, Sachin Shiva on four and Karthik on five. Makan completed his first over giving away just six runs. And uh, a very good over it was. And now we, the, the batsman will have to consolidate. And uh, so, and now we have a change in the commentary box. Uh, we have Ahmad Koja. Welcome, Ahmad. Right then. Thank you so much, Mr. KR. 17 for one after two overs. Good evening, Ms. Ghazal. How are you? Very much fine, sir. And you? Doing good. Wide down the leg side. And they scamper through for a single. So a good start here for the Chennai superstars. Lost their big wicket there. Makhan with a fantastic delivery around the wicket. But Esmeresh 
Went for 10 runs off his first over, getting some swing under the lights, but uh, not quite controlling it. And we can see some dignitaries there in the Chennai dugout. Uh, Ms. Ghazal, who are these uh, individuals? Do you know who are these uh, individuals? Do you know them? Uh, the lady is uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Pramila. And uh, she has... Uh, invited the guest ah okay that's nice down the leg side that's trickling away to fine leg another loose delivery down the leg side but they'll scamper through for an extra run as well was trying to sneak a single oh direct hit could have been close but that's great game awareness there from the superstars and getting yet another run so miss ghazal what can you tell us about your involvement in the divyang uh, project how did you get introduced to this brand of cricket uh i i was actually introduced uh, for the very first time in 2019 uh, in the asia cup uh, it was the asia cup of wheelchair cricket uh, in that tournament good delivery outside the off stump slashes hard there sachin but uh, gets beaten yes ma'am in that tournament, I have participated just as a volunteer. And fr from there, I realized that uh, I should do whatever I can for this cricket. So I am having a lot of experience uh, handling the, all the affairs of wheelchair cricket in India, as well as... Big shout there, but that's probably sliding down the leg side. Sachin getting troubled on his pad by Esmeresh. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. Yeah, as well as uh, all the back-end uh, work for all the teams like uh, standing cricket or deaf and dumb or women cricket physically we do we do have all of the alternative forms yeah, of cricket yeah, yeah. you've been involved yeah, in yeah 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 very nice so it must be a very rewarding uh, project to work with to have the dpl taking place in sharjah the home of odi cricket the home of t20 cricket another big shout down the leg side even sachin was telling the umpire don't give me not out it's sliding down leg and uh, the umpire listened to him interesting stuff there <laughs> This is some top quality seam bowling under lights. Here you see S. Maresh once again, that big in swinger. And yes, that's clearly going down the fifth or even sixth leg stump. But Sachin is not looking comfortable against S. Maresh, who's bowling pretty well after those initial wides. 22 for one after 2.3. Sachin Sevana countering the swing, stepping out of his crease. Again on the pads, but they'll sneak a leg by probably. Might even get two. That's a good aggressive call there and they've gone through fantastic running between the wickets fine leg was a bit on his heels and they sneak a double so then how did you progress to becoming ceo of the entire uh, divyang board how did that happen so quickly in just a year or so uh you can say that uh, i am gifted by the god that <laughs> my father is the general secretary of divyang cricket control board of india but uh, not just uh, as being he is my father uh, i am not here just for that it's not due to nepotism you had to work yeah, for yeah, it yeah i and i I, uh, I can say i must say actually i am proud of myself <laughs> okay of course so uh, mr harun rashid was telling us that there are about 22 states that are re registered with the divyang project right yeah definitely so that is amazing so many teams so many associations in all yeah. the various states so many players we have yeah he was telling me about 1500 to 2000 players yeah the young players that's yeah. absolutely crazy 25 for one after three overs are the chennai superstars right then let's take a look at the bowling card here for the mumbai ideals it's been marisha san sana marisha marisha two overs done for 16 and makkan singh rajput with that peach of a delivery to get the left hander one over one wicket for six runs 10 extras though given already so that's been the principal scoring area for chennai superstars and now it is going to be another bowling chit perhaps or maybe makkan is given another over Let's just take a look. Sachin Seva remarking his guard. Perhaps getting outside that middle and off stump because his pad was getting in the way. But uh, 
pretty balanced start here, I would say. Chennai and Mumbai ideals, two strong teams. And yes, it is Makhan Singh Rajput who's a continuing. A tall seam bowler gets movement off the deck, gets some extra bounce. Full toss, driven hard down to the ground to long off. So, Ms. Khazal, what is the future plan of the Divyang Cricket Board? What do you have? What is your dream project? What do you really want to do in the future that you can say that, yes, I have achieved something with the DCCIB? Uh, uh, actually, I should say that this is the first step towards success. Right. And just it is looking beautiful. We want all the matches, whatever, whenever uh, it will be organized and wherever it will be organized. It should be beautiful like this. Absolutely. No better place than the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Yeah. Good delivery there. Dot ball play to extra cover. And Mr. Harun Rashid did mention that they are dreaming or planning to have a series here with Pakistan. So an India-Pakistan series in Sharjah, that would definitely create worldwide headlines. And but, but is that an achievable goal or the political situation is quite difficult at this moment? Oh, we cannot say. Both the factors are there. <laughs> <laughs> of course. As always, cricket and politics cannot be separated at yeah. any stage. Makhan steaming in once again. One, only seven runs given away. Outstanding bowling from him. Driven hard through extra cover. That is a beautiful shot. Cream through extra cover and going all the way for four. Karthik has played a sensational shot. Bit of a half volley there from Makhan. Over pitching, but he had to put it away. Fantastic shot and 30 for one are the superstars. Take a look at that. Big in swinger there, but became a bit of a half volley and just extra fielder had abs extra cover fielder had absolutely no chance on that one. I think bowling with this hand, he has one hand that is uh, physically yeah. disabled. I think it is quite tough. It's unbelievable. I cannot believe the skill level of these players. To be quite honest. Yes, come on. This has been guided down to third man for a single. We have seen p players like Balraj and we have seen uh, Pandey as well and uh, G, G Bhomik as well playing some excellent innings. So the ability is definitely there. They are not disabled. I must say they are especially abled. They are especially abled and so is our good friend, our cameraman Guddu. So our director is telling us to say hi to him. Wave at the cameras. Thank you Guddu Bhai. <laughs> Doing excellent work there. <laughs> he's, he's a bit of a shy guy, so being on camera is not quite his forte. 31 for one. Driven hard down the ground. What can you tell us about Sachin Siva, Ms. Ghazal? What is, uh, like he's been appointed captain of the Chennai Superstars. What is his pedigree? Okay. Is he a batsman mainly or an all-rounder? Like what, what do you, can you tell us about him? Uh, particularly, he is a batsman. Very quite a good batsman he is. Right. And Mr. Harun was also telling us that you're working in the Divyang field for women as well. So yeah. what is the progress in that department? Do you have uh, plenty of teams there or it's just in, uh, in, its, in its infant stages right now? Oh, uh, the uh, women team, women department we should say, uh, hey. it is on the work in progress. So that is probably much closer to your heart because you you're dealing with, with Divyang women as well in that stage. Yeah, wow. uh, all are actually uh, Equal close to my heart. <laughs> But uh, as I have uh, spent a lot of time wi with wheelchair cricket, yeah. it is quite near, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot a close bit more to my special. heart. Yeah. 32 for one after four overs are the superstars run rate of eight. So they'll definitely be looking for a 140, 150 plus target as the captain stated at the toss. But the Chennai dugout looking quite relaxed. No tensions, no worries just yet because the captain is out there and Karthik is looking in good touch. Two overs, one for 13 from Makhan. Only gave away seven runs in that over. So they are building it up quite nicely. Aggression can be seen on the face of Sachin. Absolutely, but he needs to show it with the strike rate. Just seven of nine. A few boundaries would definitely suit his temperament. And uh, honestly, this was my first experience of watching Divyang Cricket. And I have been astounded with the skill level, with the dedicated, with the dedication level, with the commitment level. Like if you're playing at Sharjah at mid-afternoon, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, when it's 40 degrees outside. Yeah. But these guys are throwing themselves all over the field, running like crazy, 
running in hard to bowl fast and that's a really heartening sign i must say when they cross the boundary towards the pitch they forget all the things yes all the problems all the worries all the, it's all about the game yeah and here comes mahantesh took three wickets bowled outstandingly in the morning on, bhai, and he'll on. be one of the strike bowlers here for mumbai ideals quite good economy rate yes only 3.75 outstanding stuff and sachin seva the captain of chennai on strike tried to hoik this away towards square leg but uh, between his legs and the sneaker leg by so the running between the wickets for chennai has definitely been very active and miss ghazal of course you're dealing with sponsors and corporates and this and that how challenging and how difficult and how frustrating is that or is it completely the opposite have people been very supportive to you ah uh, it is the most challenging part of this cricket mm. most challenging oh bole 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 especially in the covid era getting people to part with their money is not very easy to tell them to support a project like this yeah people have uh, we should say that uh, people have an uh, 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 they have uh, what we should oh, say like uh, ball. bahana excuses yeah excuses right covid is just a great but it is a genuine issue yeah, worldwide it is genuine but uh, for most for most the sponsors have a genuine reason yeah then how did you manage to get such a big name like mpl on board i need to hear that story 34 for one after 4.3 as mahantesh is coming over the wicket to sachin oh, big appeal but clearly hitting him outside the line sachin is really struggling here hard struggling to get the ball away from his pads yes ma'am tell us about the mpl connection how did you make that magic happen uh through social media i have contacted to some the officials of mpl and they are appreciating uh, all my post whatever i posted uh, so i contact them through the social media and tell him about this tournament and the happening miss happening what has happened with us at the last moment of the tournament so they have assured us that they will help us and they helped us it is such a very big moment for us and of course during this covid pandemic it's always important to stay safe support us from home and just through social media you managed to get a giant like mpl on board that's quite amazing yeah fantastic stuff there then that just shows your dedication to the project this has been hoik through square leg nobody on the boundary but it might not reach the fence but they're pushing for three could be a run out opportunity but no the throw is a bit off target an excellent running once again between the wickets between sachin siva and kartik 37 for 1 after 5 overs i think outfield is little bit slow it definitely does feel a bit heavy divyang premier league t20 2021 it's an sf360 digital production Hashtag connecting sports digitally. So shout out to the production team. Shout out to our director, Mr. Shahid. He always tells me, please praise me on air. So I'm doing this officially, Mr. Shahid. Stop telling me to praise you. I'm praising you right now directly. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job. And uh, and on we, behalf of the Vyan Cricket Control Board of India, there you go. Right I from his cousin. I want to thank from the bottom of my heart all there the you go. all the officials and oh, all the oh, cameramen oh. and all the people. That There it is. It's on record now, so stop complaining. <laughs> 37 for one after five overs. Slow but steady going from Chennai superstars. And now it is Mohammad Javed on to bowl. He's batted here also really well. He's a quite a high quality all rounder, I feel. Yeah. So I don't know if you can give me a correct answer here, Ms. Ghazal, but your prediction for who is going to win DPL 2021? one team don't give me they're all my brothers <laughs> they're all my this and that i love them equally one team um as i am thinking and and yeah. as i have assumed i am thinking chennai superstars maybe mm so you're with the yellow army then fair enough let's see there's a very big examination of them right now at the hands of mumbai ideals who won a comprehensive victory but on the other hand we we should not take uh, kolkata night fighters yeah the batting is very strong the yeah. top order yeah 
got some serious fire firepower there and the bowling as well has some quick bowlers there this has been bunted down to long off for a quick single 38 for one Sachin Seva now off to 11 of 14 Karthik playing at a runner ball so if they're aiming for 140 150 they'll definitely need to get a bit of a move on Mohammad Javed bowling to Karthik fine leg in the circle Full delivery, Devon driven yeah. straight to extra cover, but a bit of a misfield there, and they're gonna get a single. Might push for two, but no, they'll just stick to one. So Miss Ghazal, where is exactly the headquarters of? Uh, D I C C I B. That is the full. That is the initials, right? D C C B I. D C C B I. Yeah. Okay. I got a bit of it wrong. So where are the headquarters? Where are you guys located? Is there any social media presence we can follow? Any website where we can look at the latest progress of you, your work? Yeah, we are working on our website. But uh, for this DPL, you can find the web website dplt20.com. All right, dplt20.com. Yeah. Make sure to check that out and see the fantastic action of our able cricketers, how well they're doing at this stage. Yeah in the air but long on mid on was just a bit too straight another single sneaked in there and more of our ace sf 360 crew always like some uh, on-air action on air <laughs> exposure as well thank they're you. all superstars in their own right thank <laughs> you so much for making this tournament so beautiful oh Hold him. leg stump has been knocked back muhammad javed with that big in swinger karthik steps outside but it's gone through the gate and leg stump has been rattled. 40 for 2 after 5.5 are the superstars. Look at that big in swinger and just completely missed the line. Fantastic bowling there from Javed. He is one for the future for sure. Karthik with 12 of 13 hit a couple of boundaries but then comprehensively bowled there by Javed. Now Kailash, international player of Indian disabled cricket team also. So Kailash is the big fish here for Chennai superstars. One more of our hardworking cameramen way up in the skies, enjoying the view, enjoying some top quality cricket. Very, very focused. It's rare to see him so focused, but <laughs> he is currently... Now the Chennai dugout looking a bit concerned after losing two early wickets. No, Kailash is, is not there. Chennai superstars. Superstars in their name and they need to deliver like it as well. Mohammad Javed with an excellent over so far. More pressure on the captain Sachin Siva. He needs to bat the entire at least the bulk of the 20 over so that they can get to a competitive score no, no, no. and of course you can be part of the social media conversation on twitter hashtag divyang t20 please share your views your opinions your feedback and how you're enjoying this top quality action from india's premier able cricketers Right then, final delivery of the sixth over, Javed. How was that? That's a big appeal, but he's pulled out of it. Might have been a bit of an inside edge or going down leg. But that did look relatively straight. And he looks on in anguish, but an excellent over from him. Javed is an experienced player. Yes, I and mean, very reliable player. He, he can give you some overs with the ball, gets the ball to swing, and of course, hard-hitting batsman as well. 41 for 2 after 6 overs, so the run rate just a tick below 7. But the captain is still there. His strike rate is a little low, 12 off 16, but he can definitely improve on that the more time he spends at the crease. But so far, Mumbai looking in control, Ms. Ghazad.
both the teams are also focusing uh, on the run rate. Mm, very important for sure. And of course, uh, the keeper from Mumbai Ideals, he played a fantastic innings as well, Mr. Suraj. Hard hitting batsman, very experienced. Also played for the national team, I believe. He's been a part of that as well. So, quite a lot of star power on show here in the DPL. <laughs> Mahantesh going to continue then. Left arm orthodox bowler. MS Siva is the batsman coming out to bat at number four for the superstars. Both the Shivas of Chennai superstars <laughs> are on. Shiva page. and Shiva. Are they related? No. Just the familiar last name. Yeah. <laughs> Over the wicket is Mahantesh to MS Siva. This has been driven on the up through extra cover, but there's no fielder on the boundary. Big hard chase from mid off. And it's going to just about rain it in. But a uh, good shot to get off the mark and two runs to the total. Hitting the ball right in the way, in the area where it should be sent. A deep cover in place, but nobody at extra. So good batting here from MS. Straight delivery played back to the bowler. Yes, no, maybe a bit of a misfield, but no, there he's going to turn back. The first lesson in cricket is always to never run on a misfield and Sachin Siva showing his maturity, sending back MS. Yeah. 43 for two. Oh. Another straightish delivery just manipulated into mid-wicket for a quick single. Right then, Sachin Siva on strike, the captain come on, boys, come on. won the Everybody. toss and immediately elected to bat first. So he definitely needs to put a score on the board to make the Mumbai oh, ideal sweat. Oh. Straight hit down the ground and the long off comes across. Good chase there. Looked like an opportunity for Cotton Bowl but just burst through the hands of Mantesh. And Sachin Siva definitely looking to get a move on now. He's sp spent a fair few time at the crease. Played quite a few deliveries, 13 of 17. So he definitely needs to up his strike rate. And let's see if MS Siva can contribute to that as well. Oh! Another uppish drive down to long off. Big shout there from the keeper. Gripped on the pitch a bit and stood up on the batsman, but uh, safely enough. 46 for 2. Last ball of the 7th over coming up. Another steady over from Mahantesh. He's very reliable in these middle overs. Doesn't give anything away. Big hit down the ground towards long on for a single. So after 7 overs, Chennai superstars are 47 for 2. Question, they don't know. Question. Right then, let's take a look at the Chennai Superstars batting scorecard. Jaddu Rajesh, 5 of 6, bowled by an absolute peach by Makhan Singh Rajput. Sachin Singh with the captain also opening 14 of 18. Karthik was bowled by Mohammad Javed as well, a big in-swinger that took his legs from 12 of 13. And now MS Siva doing the rescue act with his captain. 7 overs gone, 47 for 2 on the board, but 11 extras. That's been a big scoring area for Chennai. Actually, the third highest scorer already in this team and it's going to be Javed to continue this has been hit hard through mid wicket and nobody on the boundary that is going to go all the way for four okay. and that is the 50 up for the Chennai superstars Sachin Siva on the move I think from here they should change the gear for uh, making a big target for Mumbai Ideals. Especially Sachin who's been there for about 17, 18 deliveries. He's used to the pitch now. That's a strong drive through mid-wicket going all the way for four. Good shot and now perhaps a change in the field. Yes, there is. There's a deep mid-wicket in place, a deep square leg and also a long on. So a very defensive field set now. 
51 for 2 as the umpire. What can you tell us about umpire Rafi Mizghazal? Because he's very entertaining. He's, he's, he's like a Bollywood movie all wrapped up in one person. <laughs> yeah. His actions are totally different. Oh, by that's ball. a big wide there. <laughs> bit of a misfield there. And they'll sneak a single as well. So a bit of poor discipline there from Mumbai Ideals. But more pressingly, it might have hurt their ace batsman, Mr. Suraj. Might have hit him on the finger. That can be quite painful. Uh, seems to have been struck on the back as well. Chennai superstars looking confident, looking relaxed as long as the captain is there. 18 of 19. Here the star of today's match of Mumbai Ideals. Outstanding innings he played. Oh, oh again white. Bit of an edge there, but bouncing in front of the keeper. And once again, they're going to sneak some buys. So Suraj is really struggling right now. Ball just not reaching him on the full. All is bouncing in front of him. 53 for 2 after 7.1. So Javed is struggling a bit with his lines here. Sachin on strike. Hard drive. <laughs> To the point fielder, but they get through for a single. Yes, Ms. Ghazal, so we were talking about uh, umpire Rafi. What can you tell us about him? Has he always been like this, or is this an effect of being in Divyang cricket? Yeah, he is the most entertaining umpire. <laughs> I have never seen such umpiring. Me neither, me neither, ah. for sure. Flicked in the air, but the deep mid-wicket is in place, not in the circle anymore. So Sachin, that's a relatively safe shot in the end then. 56 for 2 after 7.3. Some encouragement from the Chennai superstars dugout. Looking quite relaxed. Not worried about anything. I guess they're backing, they're bowling to defend any score they can get. MS on strike, 5 over 5. A pitch drive once again, but there's a long off in place, so just doing it in singles after that initial boundary of the first ball. Mohammad Javed bowling steadily, and there is a need of a partnership, but definitely Sachin Siva can increase his strike rate to go above 100, about 120, 125. He does have that big hitting ability. This has been cut through point and into the gap. There's a cover sweeper coming around, but they'll definitely get two runs. So another confident shot in the gap. And Sachin Seva now looking good. He's trying to hit the ball for force or a little too hard, yeah. Yeah. He's trying very hard to score. A little bit more faster. Yeah. Because now 59 for 2 after 8 overs. So definitely the run rate is not where they'd like to be if they want to get 150 plus. And we've seen Mumbai is a very strong batting side with especially Suraj, the keeper. Very hard hitting opening batsman as well. But it's the captain getting some stretching done. He's not come on to bowl just yet. But he took four wickets in the morning game. Bowled an outstanding spell. No, 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 no. Adjusting the field, so <laughs> getting a bit of stretching done, but as commanding his troops as well. So that's a good sign. And good to see some smiling faces. Of course, such a such a dream come true for them to be playing at the iconic Sharjah Stadium, where the likes of Sachin Tendulkar, MS Dhoni, Virat Kohli, all these big names of Indian cricket have played IPL. And for you to have your own Premier League, that must be such a boost to their confidence, to their energies, and of course to their performance. 58 for 2 after 8 overs. As we take a look at the chairman suite, some guests there enjoying the action of DPL 2021. Two Sachins can be seen here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. But let us see what Sachin Shiva will do. <laughs> we know what Sachin Ramesh can do. Now let's see what Sachin Shiva can do, indeed. Batting well so far, 21 of 22. Come on, come on, 
MS Siva on strike against Brajesh, the captain of Mumbai Ideals. Driven hard through mid wicket. Good strong shot there, but straight to long on. Bit of a misfield, but gets the throw in in time. Fifty nine for two after eight point one. Mr. Dwivedi continuing. Whoa. What a delivery there. Bhai Some bhai turn bhai. off the straight. And Sachin had to treat it with respect. He was not going anywhere. Take a look at that. That is what everybody is battling for. Yeah. The golden trophy of DPL twenty twenty one. Well bowled again there from Brijesh, beating the outside edge of Sachin. Plenty of selfies being taken, a lot of footage being recorded. It's a landmark moment for the DCCBI organizing a tournament overseas, just like the IPL for the able cricketers. Truly a landmark moment. This is it through mid wicket, pushing for two, but the deep mid wicket field is scurrying to the ball. Sixty for two after eight point four. MS Siva seven of eight. Sachin Siva twenty two of twenty five. And Brijesh, the captain of Mumbai Ideals, just two runs given away in his four deliveries so far. So the match is very finely poised, right on the knife edge. And let's see. Floated delivery, a huge shot. That may go all the way for six. Unbelievable hit from Emma Siva. Straight back over the head of the bowler. Going all the way to Tong Town for half a dozen. Fantastic shot there. 66 for two. And the big levers are coming out now. Biggest smile can be seen with this six. <laughs> Floated delivery. He dared him. He challenged him. Go for the six. And he obliged. Look at that. Right over the side screen. For a big hit, fantastic shot. That's a six in any ground, let alone Charger Cricket Stadium. Huge hit there from MS Seva. Another floated delivery beats the outside edge and half an appeal there. But uh, end of the ninth over, I would like to thank you so much, Ms. Ghazal, for your time. Thank you. And look at that, more of the memorabilia. And there'll be a change in the commentary box. It's Mr. K. R. Nair being joined by Mr. Ramesh Tavle, the captain of the wheelchair team. So that's an incredible honor. Sixty-six for two after nine overs, and I'm joined by Mr. Ramesh. Sir, कैसे हैं आप ठीक हैं? एकदम बढ़िया सर. कैसे enjoy कर रहे हैं शारजा क्रिकेट स्टेडियम में इतने बड़ा टूर्नामेंट हो रहा है DPL 2021. Sir, actually हमारा जो दिव्यांग क्रिकेट कंट्रोल बोर्ड है, ये दिव्यांगों के लिए कुछ नई नई सोच लाता है और ये हमारे बोर्ड का एक ड्रीम था कि हम दिव्यांग खिलाड� खिलाये जो डीपीएल के माध्यम से हुआ है तो ये हमारा ये खाब ये पूरा हुआ ये हम ये करते हैं सर वो ये खाब अगर बंदा बड़े देखेगा तभी पूरे होते हैं जी जी वही तो है यही बात है यही तो है जो खाब देखता है वही पूरा करता है जो दिव्यंक के कंट्रोल बोर्ड ने जो खाब देखा था और उसके माध्यम and uh, look at the various trophies here. So, you have to tell us about how you are involved in all projects and you have to listen to your cricket story. Sir, I have a lot of polio. So, actually, in the first starting, we were playing with a creature. But as soon as we know that there is also a cricket in a wheelchair. And we have searched on Facebook or went there and went there. 
डीसीसीबीआई के जो जनरल सेक्रेटरी हरुण रशीद उनका कांटेक्ट मिला उनसे संपर्क हुआ उनसे संपर्क होने उन्होंने आगरा में कैंप लिया था उस कैंप में हम गए और वहाँ से एक जर्नी स्टार्ट जो हुई तो ये अब तक मतलब इंडिया तो जो जर्नी स्टार्ट होके बांग्लादेश गए हम खेलने के लिए उसके बाद में अभी जस्ट दुबई आए हैं तो व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट में एक्चुअली एज ए इंडियन व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट क्रिकेट टीम का कैप्टन हूँ और अभी हमारे साथ में जैसी पहले जैसा था बोलते ना कारोबार जब शुरू होता है तो एक से एक जुड़ते जाते हैं एकदम से जी जी वैसे ही जैसे नहीं तो आप नेचुरली एक व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेटर नहीं था आपको ट्रेनिंग से उन्होंने सिखाया कि भाई आप ऐसे जी, खेल जी, सकते जी, हो जी 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 मतलब हम लोग स्टार्टिंग से मतलब क्रेचेस पे खेलते थे क्रेचेस पे खेलते थे पर बाद में पता चला व्हीलचेयर के कटो तो व्हीलचेयर फिर हम लोग ये किए फिर उससे व्हीलचेयर पे उन्होंने बताया कि ऐसे खेलना है कमाल है कैंप रखा था उस कैंप में हमने जैसे व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट तो वो हमें सुटेबल लगा कि हमें ये क्रिकेट हमारे लिए है तो आप पूरी जिंदगी एक क्रचेज वाली क्रिकेट खेल रहे थे फिर आपको एडजस्ट करना पड़ गया व्हील चेयर पे आके क्रिकेट कैसे खेल जी, जी 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 तो आपको ये कितने साल लगे या कितने महीने लगे एडजस्ट करने में एडजस्ट वैसे करने को सर वैसे ज्यादा दिन नहीं लगे जैसे चार से पांच महीने लगे बस उ, बस उसके बाद में क्यूँकी क्रिकेट जैसे कहा जाता है की इंडिया में क्रिकेट को एक फेस्टिवल या फिर एक माना जाता है तो एक रिलीजन एक धर्म माना जाता है तो उस तरह से इंडिया के हर खिलाड़ियों के या फिर हर इंसान के दिल में क्रिकेट बसता है ये तो है या हम दिव्यांग है हमने अभी तक कभी सोचा नहीं कि व्हीलचेयर पे हम क्रिकेट खेलते हैं तो कभी ये नहीं सोचा कि हम दिव्यांग है बस क्रिकेट का एक जुनून है वो हिसाब से हम खेलते हैं और जो डीसीसीबी ने जो हमारा सपना जो पूरा किया है और आगे हम बढ़ते जा रहे तो ये हमारे लिए बहुत बड़ी चीज है सर लेकिन यार मैं फिर भी हैरान हूँ ये सुन के आपने चार पांच महीनों में आपने ये सीख भी लिया की कैसे खेलना है सर खेलना तो एक्चुअली आता था अपन ये है की ओनली व्हील पे एग्जेस्ट ये ओनली ये ओनली थोड़ी चीज है तो बहुत बड़ी चीज है ऊपर से आप कैप्टन भी बन गए जी 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 लेकिन आप अच्छे कैप्टन है या सख्त कैप्टन है नहीं वैसे तो विराट कोहली जैसे कैप्टन है ठंडे हैं दोनों की एक्चुअली मैं ऐसा हूँ कि मैं सभी को साथ में लेके चल जैसे हमारे अरुण सर है की पूरे ऑल ओवर इंडिया के दिव्यांगों को साथ में लेके चल रहे है वैसे मैं भी ऐसा हूँ की ऑल ओवर इंडिया के जो हमारे जो इंडियन टीम के प्लेयर है या फिर स्टेट के प्लेयर है सबको हम साथ में लेके चलते हैं इस वजह से सर अभी तक हम एक मुकाम पे पहुंचे हैं और गए साल हमने ने, नेपाल में एशिया कप भी खेला था हा, हा, हा। जिसके अंदर थोड़ा सा क्रिकेट है कुछ भी हो सकता है फाइनल में पाकिस्तान के साथ में हमने आ, हारे थे पर वही कार वो नहीं हुआ पर आगे हम लोग स्टेट में इतनी क्रिकेट हमारी व्हीलचेयर की होती है कि यहाँ पे अभी दुबई में होने के बाद भी हम यहाँ से भुवनेश्वर खेलने जा रहे हैं सर फिर से Super question of the day then Divyang Premier League which Australian player made his ODI and T20I debut before making his first class debut yaar iska jawab to shayad mujhe bhi pata hai Steve Smith David Warner Shane Watson or Don Bradman so please answer that question on the hashtag Vidyang T20 and if you know the right answer please tweet that into us and you might have a surprise तो लेकिन यार ये मैं ये देख रहा हूँ कि दिव्यांग कम्युनिटी में इतनी डाइवर्सिटी पंजाब से भी लड़के आ रहे हैं चेन्नई से भी आ रहे हैं मुंबई से भी आ रहे हैं हर शहर में एक ना एक किसी के दिल में ख्वाब है और वो खेल रहे हैं इस लेवल पे सबसे हैरानगी की बात ये मेरे लिए है सर एक्चुअली ऐसा है कि हमारे बोर्ड के साथ में ये जो स्टैंडिंग क्लियर खेल रहे हैं उनके साथ में कुछ चौबीस से छब्बीस स्टेट जुड़े हैं छब्बीस स्टेट बीस स्टेट इंडिया में कितने स्टेट है पूरे तीस पैंतीस है तीस बत्तीस है मेरे अंदर उसमें से छब्बीस छब्बीस है और प्लस व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट में तेरह स्टेट जुड़े हैं माय गॉड यानी ये तो सारे मुल्कों से बड़े बड़े आपकी तो सिर्फ टीमें हैं यार जी जी और आप उनके कप्तान हैं जी अनबिलीवेबल यार इतना हाई लेवल पे ये हो रहा था मैं ऑनेस्टली शॉक्ट हो गया हूँ तो कप्तानी कैसी लगती है आपको मुश्किल काम है आसान काम है लड़कों को साथ लेके चलना नहीं कप्तानी तो सर मुश्किल काम है पर आप ठंडे सब... मिजाज के हैं या गर्म मिजाज के नहीं ठंडे मिजाज के इसके लिए अभी तक कैप्टन बने हैं <laughs> सभी खिलाड़ी के साथ में अच्छा बरता है इस वजह से अभी सब खिलाड़ी चल रहा है सर आगे एक्चुअली ओह एंड सचिन सिवा थ्रोन इज विकेट अवे अनबिलीवेबली लीडिंग एज कॉट एट स्क्र लेग ब्रिजेश द्विवेदी द कैप्टन ऑफ मुंबई आइडियल स्ट्राइकिंग कैप्टन वर्सिज कैप्टन सेवेंटी फोर फोर थ्री और थोड़े से क्रैम्प हो रहे हैं ब्रिजेश जी को बट इतनी बड़ी विकेट ले गए सचिन सेवा की अब थोड़ा सा चेन्नई फंस गई आपकी क्या राय है ये टर्निंग पॉइंट हो सकता है चेन्नई टीम के लिए इतनी बड़ी फुल टॉस ऑन स्क्वेयर लेग और सीधा फील्डर के हाथ में अनबिलीवेबल इतना अच्छा खेल रहे थे वो जी
तो कुछ व्हील चेयर क्रिकेट के असूलों के बारे में कुछ बताइए जो नॉर्मल क्रिकेट से क्या फर्क है सर नॉर्मल क्रिकेट ये फर्क है कि हम एक्चुअली व्हील चेयर पे बैटिंग बॉलिंग फील्डिंग व्हील चेयर पे करते हैं ओके पूरी तरह और हमारे भी खिलाड़ी व्हील चेयर से जैसे आप देख रहे हो कि जैसे नॉर्मल विराट कोहली युवराज जैसे भागते हुए आके कैच पकड़ते है वैसे हमारे व्हील चेयर क्रिकेट भी ग्राउंड पे व्हील चेयर दौड़ा के जम्प लेके कैच पकड़ते है अच्छा वो अलाउड है जम्प मार सकते हैं जी जी एक्चुअली वो व्हील चेयर क्रिकेट का रोमांच कुछ अलग रोमांच है हाँ और हम पूरे इंडिया में चैलेंज करते हैं मतलब हम हर बार तो यही बोलते हैं कि आप सिर्फ कितना भी बिजी आदमी क्यों ना हो अगर वो ओनली दो मिनट के लिए आके हमारा व्हील चेयर क्रिकेट अगर देखे वो पूरे ट्वेंटी ओवर देख के जाएगा ऐसे काम चमत्कार चीज हर दफा देखने को थोड़ी मिलती है क्योंकि पूरी तरह व्हील चेयर पे डिपेंड है और ऐसा है की हमारी डोमेस्टिक टीम कौन सी है व्हील चेयर में महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र तो आपका सबसे ज्यादा कांटेदार मुकाबला किसके साथ है गुजरात अच्छा जी महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र 2018 टू 19 में चैंपियन टीम है नेशनल चैंपियन टीम है और हमारा जैसे आईपीएल जैसे वही है डीपीएल जैसे हो रहा है वैसे हमारा आईपीएल होता है आई डब्ल्यू पी एल होता है दिल्ली में इंडियन वुमेन व्हील चेयर प्रीमियर लीग तो उसमें महाराष्ट्र फर्स्ट एडिशन में विनर थी हाँ। और सेकंड एडिशन में रनर अप टीम थी दो एडिशन हो चुके हैं जी जी दो एडिशन हो जाए और कोरोना के वजह से तीसरा एडिशन हाँ। हो नहीं पाया अभी इस साल जून में होने के चांसेस है पर कोरोना के वजह से कुछ कहा नहीं जाता है तो अच्छा। मतलब ऐसे है कि महाराष्ट्र ऑल स्टेट में एक टॉप की टीम है पिछले भी और आप उसके बेस्ट प्लेयर हो आप इंडिया टीम के कैप्टन हो जी जी तो आप ऑलराउंडर हो बैट्समैन हो बॉलर हो क्या हो आप ऑलराउंडर दोनों काम जी तो एल के रूल्स क्या होते हैं उसमें एल बी डब्ल्यू के होता है कि सर हमारा जो शूज का जो टो है वो अगर मिडल पे होता है हाँ। अगर उसमें बैट बॉल लग जाता है तो वो एल बी डब्ल्यू होता है ओके और व्हाइट का रूल्स ऐसा है कि जो हमारा व्हील है व्हील के जो हाफ व्हील है हाँ। उसके अगर भार लग जाता है तो व्हाइट होता है अच्छा और एवरी थिंग रूल्स सेम ओनली फॉर हमारा जो ग्राउंड है वो फिफ्टी यार्ड फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी यार्ड होता है और जो पिच हमारी जो ट्वेंटी टू यार्ड की रहती है तो वो हमारी अठारह यार्ड की रहती है बस इतने जी जी इतना ही फर्क है सर बाकी कोई फर्क नहीं है ज़्यादा मुश्किल है भाई छोटा पिच पे खेलना जी यही सर एक्चुअली बाकी बाकी कोई कोई रोमांच नहीं रोमांच इससे भी डबल रोमांच है व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट में मैं वही सोच रहा हूँ अभी इस मैच के बाद मैं यूट्यूब पे जाके सबसे पहले आप लोगों का मैच देखूंगा यार आई डब्ल्यू पी एल मैंने उसका मैच डेफिनेटली देखना है सेवेंटी फोर Point for a single, so Sandy will get off the mark. 75 for three after 11 overs. So IWPL आपका हो रहा है. गुजरात आपके full rival है आपके साथ. और किस किस की टीमें? और कितनी टीमें हैं उसमें? हाँ, sir उसके अंदर अभी तो मतलब हमने छः टीम के ये दो-दो addition में हुआ था. पर ये third addition में हमने आठ टीम की है. Okay, and here is that super question once again. Divyang Premier League, which Australian player made his ODI and T20 debut before making his first class debut? Steve Smith, David Warner, Shane Watson, or Don Bradman? Yeah, sir, ji, ye to bahut mushkil sawal hai. Keh rahe ji, ODI T20 debut usne first class se pehle kiya tha. Ji. In charon mein se. Steve Smith, David Warner, Shane Watson, ya Don Bradman. मुझे लगता है डेविड वार्नर हो सकता है क्योंकि उसने टी ट्वेंटी पहले खेला था उसने जी, अपने फर्स्ट क्लास से और आजकल अब आईपीएल में भी खेल रहे हैं आपकी हैदराबाद टीम जी, में जी, जी, जी. अब वो मुझे स्कोर नहीं पता क्या चल रहा है बट मुझे लग रहा है विराट कोहली की टीम थोड़ी टफ टाइम दे रहे हैं उनको महंतेश कंटिन्यूंग गिवेन एज अ वाइड वेरी हार्श अंपायरिंग काफी सख्त अंपायर है अंपायर रफी को वो दिखाए ना उनके बारे में आपका क्या ख्याल है मैं आपको एक सवाल आपने रफी को देख के कुछ देख के आपको कुछ लगा कि बहुत कुछ देख रही है बहुत कुछ देखा आपने एक चीज नहीं देखी रफी भी दिव्यांग है हाँ नहीं उन्होंने हमें बताया था कि स्कोरर भी थर्ड अंपायर भी और दोनों अंपायर हालांकि पता नहीं लगता है जितनी उनकी मूवमेंट है और जितने वो ड्रामेटिक है मजेदार इंसान है उनसे तो हमें गपशप लगा यहाँ पे इसके पहले भी टी हुआ था उसमें भी वो अंपायरिंग कर तो आपके मैचेस में भी खड़े होते हैं जी 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 हमारे व्हीलचेयर क्रिकेट में भी वो अंपायरिंग करते हैं तो फिर आप लोगों के टूर्नामेंट के सीजन के हिसाब से चलता है कैसे चलता है उधर सिस्टम क्या है उसका सीजन मतलब सर सीजन के हिसाब से मतलब हमारे कुछ स्टेट में जैसे तो कंडक्ट किए हमने कि हाँ। साल भर में इतने टूर्नामेंट करने तो कभी महाराष्ट्र ने किया तो गुजरात करते हैं मतलब आप लोग खुद ही कराते जी 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 एक्चुअली हमारे 
अभी तक हमारा बोर्ड जो है कि इतना हम काबिल नहीं बना है कि एक्चुअली हमें एक्चुअली ऐसा है कि मैनेजमेंट भी हमें ही करना है और ग्राउंड पर जाके खेलना भी हमें ही है तो यही थोड़ी दुख की बात है कि हम भी एक्चुअली उस एफर्ट देते हैं पर वो एफर्ट का हमें रिप्लाई में वैसा कुछ अभी ये भी टूर्नामेंट हो रहा है ये भी बहुत मुश्किल से टूर्नामेंट कंप्लीट हुआ है पर यही है कि दिव्यांग ये शब्द लगने के कारण ये सर प्रॉब्लम होती है पर आगे जाएंगे बढ़ते रहेगा हमने सोसाइटी का माइंड खोलेगा ना जी हमने एक्चुअली हौसला नहीं खोया है कि हम लोग मायूस नहीं हुए कि आगे हम लोग जाके इससे भी बढ़िया बढ़िया टूर्नामेंट खेलेंगे बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं एटी फोर थ्री आफ्टर इलेवन पॉइंट टू एम एस सेवा नाउन सिक्सटीन ऑफ थर्टीन महंतेश बोलिंग रियली वेल हियर इन इज फाइनल ओवर ओनली गिवन अवे ट्वेंटी वन रन कमिंग राउंड द विकेट टू सैंडी इज महंतेश hit on the pads but uh, big appeal but that's clearly sliding down leg and they're going to sneak in a single to ramesh bhai is tournament ki kuch prediction de sabse tagdi team kaun si sabse sakht team kaun si hai ek team ye nahi bolna mere bhai hain aur ye sab hai ye ye sab mumbai ki shirt aapne pehni hui hai mumbai nahi jawab de sakte aap maharashtra jawab nahi de sakte sir abhi to jaise jaise ki humne pure all over india se khiladi bana ke jo che team banayi hai पर अभी सभी तो टीम में जैसे देखा जाए तो छह टीम थी हाँ। राजस्थान और दिल्ली बाहर हो चुकी है हाँ। अभी ये कि देखा जाए तो ये मैच और ये कल का मैच हाँ। ये सेमीफाइनल मैच यार आप इतनी साइंस नहीं लगाओ मुझे बस एक टीम का नाम दे दो बहुत सोच समझ के आप जवाब दे रहे हो फुल साइंस लगा के आपको कौन सी स्ट्रॉन्ग टीम लग रही है ले जाएगी टाइटल आई थिंक कलकत्ता हाँ उनकी बैटिंग बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है जी 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 ऊपर से जो मारते भौमिक मारते हैं और वो भी मारते हैं है है जीत है, फिर आ, अपना सुब्रो जो है वो आज हाँ, थोड़ा हिटे मारी थी अच्छी जी, राहिल है उन्होंने और सबसे बड़ा तो गुलाम दिन ये प्लेयर है कि जो बैटिंग और बॉलिंग उसका एकदम परफेक्ट है वो मैन ऑफ द मैच भी थे आज और उनके बॉलर है वो शॉ वो भी बहुत तेज है यार जी, वो तो जी, जी, मतलब वो लगते भी नहीं है की वो दिव्यांग है ऐसे कुछ है उनकी ठीक ठाक पेस निकलती है जी एटी टू फोर थ्री Last delivery of the 12th over, driven hard down the ground just for a single. So 83 for three. Thank you so much, Ramesh Bhai. आपने हमें time दिया. Thank you. और आपने बहुत ज़्यादा मेरी knowledge बढ़ाई है. और इस match के बाद मैंने सबसे पहले काम करना है YouTube पे जाके आपके matches देखने. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Take care. बता देना कब ऑन एयर होंगे शायद भाई शायद भाई Right then, uh, let's take a look at the Chennai Superstars batting scorecard. Jaddu Rajesh, 5 of 6. Sachin Seva, the captain, 27 of 32. Karthik, 12 of 13. MS Seva out there batting really well, 17 of 14. And Sandy has joined him, 6 of 7. 83 for 3 after 12 overs. And 16 extras given away. I'm joined in the commentary box by Mr. Deepak Kamboj, who is the assistant coach of the entire tournament. Deepak, how are you? Uh, fine. Everything is good. तो सर आपका कोचिंग में बैकग्राउंड है अपनी बैक स्टोरी सुना है हाउ डिड यू गेट इन्वॉल्व आपकी कैसी इन्वॉल्वमेंट हुई इस टूर्नामेंट में और इन दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स के साथ एक्चुअली सर मैं एन आई एस क्वालिफाइड हूँ और सबसे पहले मेरी जो मुलाकात जो डी सी सी बी आई के जो सेक्रेटरी हैं अरुण शिव जी, जी उनसे कॉन्टैक्ट हुआ तो उन्होंने मुझे अपनी दिव्यांग टीम इंडिया दिव्यांग टीम का 
कोच अपॉइंट किया तो मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म था कि जब मैं कोच अपॉइंट हुआ तो मुझे सबसे बड़ा जो एक गोड गिफ्ट लगा लीजिए कि गोड गिफ्ट मिला था एशियन चैम्प एशिया कप तो एशिया कप में मैंने सभी जो इंडिया के दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स थे उनका कैंप किया और कैंप करने के बाद मैंने सभी प्लेयर्स जो थे वो एशिया कप में खेल रहे थे तो मैंने सभी को कोचिंग करवाया अच्छा ऑल ऑफ देम कि आप इंचार्ज थे आप जी जी मैं एशिया कप में इंचार्ज था और सबसे बड़ी बात है कि बहुत आ, सब प्लेयर्स ने बहुत अच्छा खेला और फाइनल मैच अफगानिस्तान से जीतकर इंडिया टीम जो है एशियन चैंपियन एशियन चैंपियन बनी तो कुछ जरा बताइए कुछ बैकग्राउंड बताइए कि क्या चैलेंजेस होते हैं इन लड़कों को दिव्यांग लड़कों को कोच करने में Actually, और sir, आपकी मतलब उसकी ट्रेनिंग भी उस हिसाब से हुई थी या आप मतलब नॉर्मल क्रिकेटिंग कोच थे जिसने अडेप्ट किया अपने आप को एक्चुअली सर जब एनआईस किया जब मैंने तो उसमें नॉर्मल क्रिकेट क्रिकेटर के बेसिक सिखाए जाते हैं हाँ. और उसमें कोई स्पेशल ऐसे कोई भी बेसिक नहीं होते जो हम दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स को सिखाए बट मेरे लिए एक चैलेंज था कि इन दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स को कैसे मोटिवेट किया जाए क्योंकि बहुत से चैलेंज थे कि किसी का हाथ नहीं है किसी का पाम नहीं है और कई ऐसे भी प्लेयर्स थे जिनके दोनों हाथ नहीं थे तो उनको हम कैसे गाइड कर सकते हैं तो बहुत मुश्किल था मेरे लिए बट सब सिचुएशन के हिसाब से हमने जब देखा है इन प्लेयर्स को स्टडी किया तो इनको बेसिक सिखाना हमने शुरू किया तो एशिया कप में जब ये प्लेयर्स खेले तो इन्होंने अपना बहुत बेस्ट परफॉर्म किया और एशियन चैंपियन बने अफगानिस्तान के साथ बहुत अच्छा फाइनल मैच हुआ था तो इन्होंने जीत का परचम लहराया था तो 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 जो दिव्यंग कोचिंग का मैनुअल है वो आप खुद ही बना रहे हैं एक तरफ से जी मतलब आप ही एक, एक गुरु बन गए आप इस फील्ड के जी जी और आपको खुद कोचिंग का कितना एक्सपीरियंस था उससे पहले एक्चुअली सर एक्सपीरियंस जैसे एन एस को एन एस किया था तो उसके हाँ। बाद जो नॉर्मल क्रिकेट में बेसिक सिखाए जाते जी, जी, हैं उन्हीं उन्हीं बेसिक के आधार पर मैंने इन प्लेयर्स को मैंने सिखाया तो आप नॉर्मल कोचिंग कितनी देर करते रहे हैं पहले एक्चुअली सर मैं दो साल मैंने नॉर्मल कोचिंग किया जी सर सिर्फ दो साल दो साल ओनली फिर आप इसमें आ गए जो इतनी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड और इतनी डिफिकल्ट और कितनी चैलेंजिंग फील्ड है और आपने कहा मैं जा रहा हूँ ऐसा था कि मैं पहले एन से पहले मैं बोर्ड की तरफ से खेल रहा था तो उसके बाद जैसे ही मैंने एन किया तो फिर मैंने बस यही सोचा की अभी कोचिंग यही करवाना है जबरदस्त यार मतलब आपका हौसला है की मतलब डेफिनेटली मुश्किल होता होगा जी जी जैसे आप बता रहे हैं कुछ प्लेयर्स के यार ये नहीं है वो नहीं है आ, एक प्लेयर हमारा जो इंडिया टीम का प्लेयर है आमिर हुसैन जम्मू से है जी बहुत जबरदस्त प्लेयर है जिसके दोनों हाथ नहीं है oh आप सोचिए कि दोनों हाथ नहीं है तो वो कैसे बैटिंग करेगा कैसे बॉलिंग करेगा ओके okay. एक एक शौक होता है की देखने वाला देखेगा सोचेगा की ये प्लेयर कैसे बैटिंग कर सकता है कैसे वो बॉलिंग कर सकता है और कोच ने तरकीब बनाने के मैं सिखाऊ इसको कैसे तो उसके लिए भी हमने सोचा कि इस प्लेयर को कैसे गाइड किया जा सकता है इसको कैसे सिखाया जा सकता है कि ये बॉलिंग भी करे फील्डिंग भी करे और फील्डिंग के साथ साथ बैटिंग भी करे तो उसके लिए हमने प्रयास किया और उस प्लेयर्स को गर्दन के साथ वो बैट को लगा के बैटिंग करता है और जो बॉलिंग करता है लेग स्पिन एक जैसे कि पैर पैर की जो फिंगर्स होती हैं थम और साथ वाली फिंगर्स उसमें वो बॉल को पकड़ वो वाकई में लेग से लेग स्पिन डाल रहा है लेग से लेग स्पिन कर रहा है वो सिर के ऊपर से अपने पाव को घुमाकर और बॉलिंग कर रहा है तो कमाल है यार मैं मैं भी हैरान था कि ऐसे ऐसे प्लेयर्स हैं जो आज इतने बड़े लेवल पे एक होनर दिखा रहे हैं और सब प्लेयर्स को मोटिवेट कर रहे हैं अपने गेम से यार आप प्लेयर छोड़े इंसान इनको देखेगा क्रिकेट खेलते ओ मिस फील्ड देयर एंड दैट इज गोइंग ऑल द वे फॉर फोर पुअर फील्डिंग देयर 92 फॉर थ्री आफ्टर 13 ओवर्स कप्तान का चौका खाना ये कितनी बड़ी गलती है ये तो कोच की जरूरत नहीं होती है बताने के लिए कप्तान की बॉलिंग पे चौका नहीं खाना चाहिए जी और तो आप मुझे इनके बारे ये जो जम्मू के लड़के इनके बारे में बताएं फिर अब ये इंडिया टीम में शामिल हो गए जी जी अभी डीपीएल में खेलने वाले थे बट वो किसी कारण जहाँ पर नहीं no आ पाए हाँ. तो वो टीम में खेलने वाले थे यार ये तो वाकई कमाल चीज होती कि बंदा चले हमने देखा कि चले एक हाथ नहीं है हमने फास्ट बॉलिंग देखा लेकिन यार जिसके पास जिसके दोनों दोनों हाथ, दोनों हाथ नहीं है और वो बॉलिंग भी कर रहा है और बैटिंग भी कर और आप उसको कोच भी आप उसकी कोच भी कोचिंग भी करवा रहे हैं हम और ए, कुछ प्लेयर्स ऐसे भी हैं गुजरात की टीम में प्लेयर है धर्मेंद्र जो कि पूरे फील्ड में एक ही पाम पर फील्डिंग करता है एक ही पाम पर बैटिंग करता है और जबरदस्त 
उसका जो गेम था कल मैंने देखा बहुत अच्छा उसने एफर्ट लगाया है बहुत अच्छी अच्छी डाइस मैंने उसकी देखी है और एक ही पाम पे नॉर्मल प्लेयर्स की तरह वो फील्डिंग कर रहा था अमेजिंग अमेजिंग 92 फॉर 3 आफ्टर 13 ओवर सैंडी ऑन 12 ऑफ 11 एमएस सेवन 19 ऑफ 16 ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन फॉलो ऑन सोशल मीडिया द हैशटैग इज दिव्यंग टी 20 सो प्लीज शेयर योर व्यूज योर ओपिनियंस योर फीडबैक एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी जावेद कमिंग ऑन टू बॉल this has been slashed over cover point and that is going all the way for four beautiful shot there from sandy a much needed boundary there and that screamed away to the cover point boundary deepak sahab itni zor dar ye shot mare aur ek jo flick mare the leg pe chikka balraj ne ji ji ye to kisi bhi ground pe chikka hai bhai balraj ko main credit dena chahunga jo hamare india team ke captain hai virat kohli bilkul waise hi class shot khelte hain punch lagate hain aaj maine ek six bhi dekha unhone स्केर पे सिक्स लगाया बहुत बहुत जबरदस्त सिक्स था और जैसे वो खेल रहे थे कि ऐसा मुझे फील आ रहा था कि बिल्कुल विराट कोहली जो दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स को मिला है कि विराट कोहली ही मिला है बिल्कुल और बलराज जो है वो बहुत से जो इंटरनेशनल इवेंट्स खेल चुका है बांग्लादेश में जो ट्रेंगुलर सीरीज हुई थी उसमें उसका बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म रहा है और कलकत्ता के जो कैप्टन है सुब्रो सुब्रो जोर्डन वो भी ट्रेंगुलर सीरीज में उन्होंने भी बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म किया था। दलेर बल्लेबाज हैं, अच्छी हिटें मारते हैं। 101 अप फॉर थ्री विद दैट वाइड डाउन द लेग साइड। सो चेन्नई सुपरस्टार्स बिल्डिंग अप अ बिट ऑफ अ हेड ऑफ स्टीम, गेटिंग अ गुड टारगेट देर। थोड़ी सी खराब बोलिंग आज हुई है मुंबई आइडियल्स के साथ अंडर लाइट्स। स्विंग नहीं कंट्रोल कर पाए। तो आपकी कोचिंग की उनको जरूरत है कि भाई स्विंग कैसे कंट्रोल करना है? जी तो तो इतने बड़े कैंप में ये तो कोई 50-60 लड़के हैं। जी जी। उन सब के आप अकेले इंचार्ज हैं। जी। तो कोई फ्रस्ट्रेशन और कुछ थकान तो और कुछ महसूस होता होगा। जी जी जरूर क्योंकि 90 प्लेयर्स हैं, 16 90 प्लेयर्स हैं। 16 पार्टिसिपेट कर रही हैं डीपीएल में। तो सब प्लेयर्स को गाइड करना मुश्किल होता है और अच्छा लगता है कि इन प्लेयर्स को हम गाइड कर रहे हैं बहुत बहुत एक्सपीरियंस भी बढ़ता है हमारा कि 90 प्लेयर्स को हम कोच कर रहे हैं। For sure, for sure, 101 for three and this is of course Deepak Kambhoj, the assistant coach of the DPL 2021. तो अगर आप असिस्टेंट कोच हैं आपके ऊपर कौन है? आ अभी जो हेड कोच हैं नितेंद्र नितेंद्र सिंह जी। अच्छा अच्छा जो अभी इंडिया टीम के कोच हैं। � Mohamed Javed on to ball 101 for 3, MS Seva 23 of 18, Sandy 12 of 11. So what are you seeing in the future? How far can you go to the future? What is your dream for them? What can they achieve in my coaching? We want to see that these players are famous in normal cricket today. In the whole world, there is a craze for normal cricket. हम चाहते हैं कि जो डीसीसीबीआई ने जो ये उपराला स्टार्ट किया है दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स के लिए डीपीएल तो ये भी पूरे वर्ल्ड में एक मिसाल हो और ये प्लेयर्स पूरे स्टेट में से पूरे इंडिया में से और यहाँ तक हो सके पूरे वर्ल्ड में से जो जहाँ पे भी दिव्यांग टीमें जिन जिन कंट्री को टीमें खेल रही हैं उनमें से ये प्लेयर्स निकले बोल्ड है मोहम्मद जावेद वंस अगेन विद डेडली एंड स्विंगर सैंडी प्लेइंग ऑल अक्रॉस इट and the leg stump has been knocked back. Yeah, Mohamed Javid ki jo in swing hai. Ye toh humare international level baller itni achi swing nahi karte. Sir, actually kya ki ek haas se ball ko release karna bhoat muskil hota hai. Bilkul. Kyunki normal cricket mein sab players ko sikhaya jata ki aap dousre haath ka use ki jiye. Aur shoulder agar lagana hai, toh dousra haath bhi sport mein hota hai. But actually, इनका एक ही हाथ है और एक हाथ से ही वो इन स्विंग आउट स्विंग बॉलिंग करवाते हैं और कई बार शोल्डर को भी यूज करते हैं तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है इन प्लेयर्स के लिए और आपका टेक्निक बिल्कुल परफेक्ट होना चाहिए आपकी कलाई का आपके बाजू का तो उस सब के आप ही रिस्पॉन्सिबल है तो आप में भी फखर महसूस करते होंगे कि यार मेरे लड़के ऐसे परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं एक्चुअली मैं फखर महसूस करता हूँ कि आज मैं दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स को डीपीएल में भी कोचिंग करवा रहा हूँ और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पर भी मैं कोचिंग करवा रहा हूँ क्या बात है यार मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि मैं ना कि नॉर्मल प्लेयर्स को कोचिंग करवा रहा हूँ मैं दिव्यांग प्लेयर्स को कोचिंग करा रहा हूँ इससे बड़ा मेरे लिए ड्रीम कोई भी नहीं है एब्सोल्युटली एंड 102 फॉर फोर सन मेकर कमिंग आउट टू बैट क्या खूबसूरत नाम है सूरज बनाने वाला सन मेकर ये 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 प्लेयर्स वर्ल्ड के सुपर हीरो 
यार लेकिन बाकी जो ये हमें दिखा रहे हैं ये सुपर हीरो से कम नहीं है मैं मजाक के अलावा नहीं कह रहा ये बिल्कुल यार जो ये लोग अचीव कर रहे हैं मैं अपनी आंखों से देख के हैरान हो रहा हूँ कि ये कैसे खेल रहे हैं एक बंदा क्रचेस के साथ आया बैटिंग करने एक अपने गले के साथ बैटिंग करने आया बहुत ही कमाल का इनका एक तो जज्बा इनका पैशन और इनकी मेहनत यार चालीस पैंतालीस डिग्री शारजा की धूप में वो ऐसे छलांगे मार रहे हैं और सिंगल हैंडेड कैच ले रहे हैं जैसे अरुण ने लिया था मैं तो हैरान हो गया वो देख के एक हाथ से कैच पकड़ना और बैलेंस बनाना और डाइव डाइव करना फुल तो मेहनत फुल, फुल फुल बहुत मेहनत करना पड़ता है बहुत मुश्किल होता है आजकल हम आईपीएल में और ये करोड़ों खरबों के लिए नहीं कर रहे ये सिर्फ फॉर द लव ऑफ द गेम कर रहे हैं इज द बिगेस्ट थिंग जी हंड्रेड एंड टू फोर फोर जी जी बोले जी और जो प्लेयर्स इनमें काफी ऐसा लग रहा है कि नॉर्मल खेल रहे हैं बट इनका भी मैं बताना चाहूंगा ये जो रनिंग कर रहे हैं ये नॉर्मल प्लेयर्स की तरह दिख रहे हैं बट ये नॉर्मल प्लेयर्स नहीं है क्योंकि सब दिव्यांग है जी, टू सब, सब दिव्यांग है इनका जो आर्टिफिशियल लेग जो आ, होता है इन्होंने वो आर्टिफिशियल लेग लगाया हुआ है अच्छा मैं बताना चाहूंगा स्टोरी श्रीलंका के साथ इंडिया टीम का ऑक्सीजन कप का मैच था तो उसमें एक प्ले बैट्समैन ने शॉट खेला तो वहां पे यहाँ पर जब शॉट खेला तो फील्डर ने डाई लगाई तो डाई जब लगा तो उसका लेग पे आर्टिफिशियल लेग पे बॉल लगा तो यहाँ पर दो रन जाने वाले थे वो आर्टिफिशियल लेग पे लगकर वो बाउंड्री हो गया तो वहां पे पांच रन दे दिए जी जी नहीं चार रन बाउंड्री आया था बट जहाँ पर दो रन आने वाले थे उसके साथ इतना फोर्स मिला आर्टिफिशियल लेग के साथ तो वो फोर हो गया कमाल है यार 102 for four after 14 overs thank you so much Deepak भाई हमें join कर ली थी commentary में बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया और बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिल रहा है आपकी वजह से thank you thank you thank you brother take care अंदर 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 circle के अंदर वो 102 for four after 14 overs and it's the master himself Mr K R Nair now joining me on commentary welcome back sir I've been busy with so many conversations I hope you heard some of them you you had a pile of stories you can write a book out of <laughs> absolutely and you need to write them you are the journalist here i'll just <laughs> mention them to you rajesh bowling now over the wicket this has been flicked through mid wicket pushing for two perhaps no just a single so 103 for four sun maker what a name that is unbelievable ms siva and sun maker the most colorful names are in the chennai team Yes, and we saw Sandy. I was reminded of Sandy Patel, eh? yeah. who's who's Sandy. <laughs> so it was all kinds of and uh, very interesting names they have in the team. And such stories and such amazing, yeah. colorful yeah. backgrounds. Yeah. I was truly shocked when I heard that there are there is a, a, a wheelchair Premier League already. Now we have a Divyang Premier League. The craze and passion for cricket in india is truly remarkable the determination of these guys what surprised me was there was a batsman who did not have a hand and uh, and he could bat unbelievable eh? it's unbelievable. truly unbelievable that is what is said that if you have the desire you can do anything 103 for four slip in place hard drive through extra cover and that is going to go all the way to the boundary that is a class shot from mr sunmaker pitched up and bang through extra cover for a delectable boundary there chennai superstars building some momentum here for this shot he should be called the boundary maker <laughs> look at that just piercing the gap the fielder just turned around to fetch that ball he had absolutely no chance and the captain brijesh going for some tap here 1 for 25 in his 3.3 bowled exceptionally well in the morning game but struggling a bit here under lights he seems to have a bit of a injury there on his left leg hopefully everything is all right what, what, what? but it's not easy to play in these conditions even for full fledged cricketers let alone the young ones <laughs> trying to pull that away through mid wicket but uh, miscued it only for a single chennai had said, told you after the toss that they want a total of 150 and it seems it is possible with uh, five more overs Absolutely, MS Siva batting on 25 of 20. Sun Maker looks like a boundary hitter as well. Big, strong lad is MS Siva. Already hit one big six of Brijesh. Maybe he'll challenge him once again with a flighty delivery. But I wouldn't do that to be quite honest. This guy packs a serious punch. Trying to sweep across the line. A bit of an ambitious appeal there, but just trying to create some pressure. Good banter there between the keeper and MS Siva. That's the beauty of Brajesh. If you pro propitious in honest spot, it's very difficult to punish him. 
Absolutely good bowling there. Big flighted delivery once again, but hit to the deep mid wicket fielder. Only a single. 109 for four. And that is the end of 15 overs. Chennai, 109 for four. What would be the next five overs? The tail of the next five overs will be very crucial. Who will push the score? Will they be, put, be able to put the brakes? That's the question. Absolutely. The captain, like you mentioned, there is the assistant coach of the Divyang national team, Mr. Deepak, had a very enlightening conversation with him. And of course, Mr. Ramesh, the wheelchair captain of the Indian team. Such amazing stories. They have come, overcome so much adversity to achieve what they have for their nation. It's truly quite inspiring. That, is, that shows the real passion for the game. You know, we say that in India, cricket is a religion. Absolutely. I think it is a habit in India. Some dignitaries there in the chairman's box enjoying the action. Nice, elegant looking punch down the ground for MS Siva. He truly does look a class apart. Great high elbow, elegant batting style he has. The, the batting approach is so good. There is no kind of strokes which is not confident. They take it on the middle and mind you, their feet doesn't come along with the uh, bat. But still their bat goes to the ball. That is the beauty of it. Absolutely. Javed continuing here. Oh, full delivery. Beaten outside off stump, pick appeal, but given not out. And he's asking the keeper, but I don't, th I don't think we have DRS in the DPL 2021. So there's no point of asking him if the umpire has refused you. And a bit of a smile there from Mr. Suraj. Looks like he knew there was no edge there. But the beauty of it is that uh, after an appeal, the umpire smiles. This has been punched into deep cover for a single. So the rotation of strike has been quite excellent here from Chennai. Bad throw there, but uh, thankfully there was backup in place. Nelson on the board, triple one for four. 15 and a half overs gone. So 145, 150 definitely seems to be in sight. And perhaps more if MS Siva gets going. Emma Siva has a lot of power behind his shots. And here we see it. Driven hard to wide long off. That was definitely an easy two, but they've just stuck to one. Good pressure fielding there from the fielder on the boundary rope. 112 for four. Emma Siva now moving on to 28 of 24. Batting really well here. And Javed bowling as well. Keeping it tight. Ahmed, have you realized the throws are very powerful from deep? Absolutely. Quick single once again taken. Might think about two. Yes, no, maybe. But once again, excellent fielding there. Good. Attacking the ball really well and putting pressure on the runners that don't you dare run on my throw. And the spirit with which they play the game is a treat to watch. Look at the fielders. They are racing to the ball and throws up with so much of power. That's a treat to watch. Only four runs given away by Javed in this over. Wants to finish it well, execute his spell well. Got two wickets, both clean bowl, bowled outstandingly once again as Mohammad Javed. Hit hard down the ground. Chance at long off, but it is going all the way for six. MS Siva. The six-hitting machine has slammed it all the way for half a dozen. 119 for four are the Chennai superstars after 16 overs. What a well-executed shot. Look at this. He just approached ball and just tongued it over the long off. What a lovely shot. You imagine it went into the stands. Fantastic hitting here from MS Siva. 34 of 25. He has been outstanding tonight. Really packs a punch. And that six was just pure timing. No power. Just the middle of the blade. And it sailed into the stands. In fact, he did not even step out. He stood there and hit it. That is the power he has behind the shot. Looks like it's going to be the left arm tweaker Mahantesh coming on to bowl most probably. Yes, it is. 
No, it is not Mahantesh. I think it might be AC Arun. Oh, sorry, pardon me. It's S. Marish. Yes. I was confused. <laughs> He's bowled two overs already, zero for 16. Four overs remaining in the innings. A good platform to launch here for the Chennai superstars. Haven't lost that many wickets either. MS Siva, the man, 34 of 25, and Sun Maker joining him at the crease, 7 of 8. Tucked away to mid wicket, pushing for two. Come on, come on. But the deep mid wicket and comes and across and swiftly and as well as the long on. So good aggressive feeling here from Mumbai Ideals, but searching for a wicket to desperately break this partnership. But they're ensuring that the scoreboard keeps moving, waiting for that one aggressive shot which can make up for the rest of the singles and twos in the over edged oh and has been shelled by the keeper unbelievable mr suraj was basically celebrating before he even caught the ball and he's grasped it yeah. he wanted to throw it up it seems look at that he came in he edged it and he took it and he wanted to throw it up, I think. And that's the time when it went off. Unbelievable, Steph. How much will this cost the Mumbai ideals? MS Siva, the form batsman, punches it down the ground for a single. If he gets going in the last two overs, we might be looking at even a 165-170 score here for the superstars. Both the batsmen are seeing the ball well, striking the ball well. They're accelerating the score. Cracking shot through extra cover. That has been blazed to the boundary for four in a flash. Unbelievable hitting there from Sunmaker. In fact, it might be... Yes, it is Sunmaker. What a shot. Just steps out and cracks it through extra cover for four. Sunmaker's... This shot burned the grass on its way. Scorching drive indeed. Now the counter-attack is very much on. They've respected the bowling for long enough. Now Mumbai Ideals facing the heat. Sunmaker 12 of 10. MS Siva 35 of 27. And the perfect platform to launch for a big slog at the fag end of the innings. Struck hard down the ground. Gets a hand on it. Good stuff there from Esmeresh. Showing some desperation in the field of his own bowling. He took the heat of the ball. It was powerfully stuck. Uh, or it, he could have got more runs. Elegant cover drive there once again. That was absolutely gorgeous. But straight to the extra cover fielder for a dot ball. 17 overs have gone by. Chennai Superstars 126 for 4. I'm liking the way Shiva is middling the ball. The stroke. Right then, time for the answer to our super question. Which Australian player made his ODI and T20 debut before Hello. making his first class debut? And yes, indeed, the correct answer was David Warner. Mr. K. and I, did you have it in your mind or were you thinking of somebody else? Yeah, I knew David Warner because do you know that David Warner was once drove the Kerala team uh, as a uh, van driver because he was working for the Australian Cricket Academy and UAE player Krishna Chander went in his car and years later only he understood here is the man who drove us all around opening for Australia unbelievable from humble beginning beginnings to a global superstar of cricket is David Warner now so well done if you got the correct answer Mr. K. and I are He's saying so himself that he knew the answer. We'll just have to assume he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Makhan Rajput coming on to bowl then. The tall seam bowler for Mumbai Ideals. He needs to execute well here. Went for a, a few runs in the first game. But now he has a couple of overs to contend with. And he needs to finish well. But the way MSA is striking the ball. It might travel a very long distance. The way they hold the ball is uh, lovely to watch. They tuck it in the ham, which is... 
half and then at the moment of delivery they take it and deliver it just see when he moves it right then msf on strike One twenty-six for four. Eighteen deliveries remaining in the innings. Makhan Rajput coming in to bowl. A tense period in the game. This has been struck through mid-wicket. Pushing for two. No, but turned back at the last moment. Did not want to take on the arm of the deep mid-wicket fielder. Which is probably a wise choice. You don't want to gift a wicket here and get your momentum sucked out this bowling is such that it naturally comes in you look at the point of delivery it just goes up and leaves it and it's beautifully comes in indeed the technical abilities of how to swing the ball has been quite outstanding in this tournament so far this has been hit down the ground straight to the fielder but he doesn't go for it and a misfield and it goes all the way for four. That's a poor effort at long off. Boundary here for Chennai Superstars. So that's the 42nd boundary. And that was well hit. And that has gone to the boundary. Look at that. Stood there and hit it with power. And it pitched in front, beat the fielder, and went to the boundary. It was the kind of opportunity we had to commit wholly, but he didn't go behind it or attack it, and in the end was caught in no man's land. This time, flicked away through square leg. Good effort there. Parried the ball, and they're going to scurry through for two, though. So unlucky there. Did do his mightiest to stop the ball, but just trickled away, and they got an extra run. The way runs are flowing is now like a waterfall slow beautiful slowly they started and now the momentum has increased looks like a big score one thirty three for four three deliveries remaining in the over wow. bold damn beautiful delivery there from makan and he's got the big wicket of MS Siva. Perfect Yorker. It was a treat to watch that Yorker. Look at that. It came in. He has been trying that delivery for a long time. And this time, look at that. He moves in and delivers and comes in, pitches perfectly through the gaps it went and knocked its stumps. So the kingpin of the superstars innings, MS Siva, 41 of 31, two big sixes, two boundaries, a strike rate of 132 has to depart. And 133 for five are the Chennai superstars. It's a good innings. Lovely knock. He's being clapped into the dugout. He deserves a pat on his back. Two deliveries remaining in this Makhan over. Bowling really well. Unfortunate boundary conceded by a misfield. But uh, the dignitary is there for Chennai. Cheering on the Yellow Army. Good to see a lot of support for them. One thirty-three for five. Makhan steaming in. Good delivery right on middle and off and can only be defended. Fantastic stuff here. What a beauty of a delivery. The way he, the ball comes in is a treat to watch. MS Sivai explaining his dismissal there that what I was trying to do was drive it straight but the ball just snuck in between my bat and pad and I had no chance. Kailash now facing on strike. He also looks a powerful lad. Packs a punch I'm sure. Two for 20 though from Makan and one over remaining. Oh, another aggressive drive down the ground but straight to long off only for a single. 
After 18 overs, Chennai are 134 for 5. Before you completed, Kailash looked strong. He wow. played a powerful yeah. shot to prove that you are right. The iconic Sharjah Cricket Stadium now hosting Divyang Premier League. What a sight. What a time to be alive for these cricketers. What a moment in their lives. They can always tell their children and their grandchildren that I played at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. The same venue with greats around me like Shane Warne, Sachin Tendulkar, Wasim Akram, Imran Khan, Kapil Dev. All of these magnificent legends have played on the same outfield, on the same pitches, on the same ground that I have. And f battling for that golden trophy. Look at that, right there, in front of the Chennai dugout, keeping an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, what all cricket this ground has staged? Blind cricket, now disabled cricket, and oh, women's cricket, and junior World Cup, under 19, PSL, IPL, Afghanistan Premier League. What all cricket the stage? Absolutely. Been. The history of Sharjah Cricket Stadium has yet another chapter to it, added by the Dev Young Premier League. Esmaresh now bowling his final over. Down the leg side, poor keeping. Oh my God, two misfields in a row. And that is going all the way for four. The keeper left it, the final leg left it. And that is a death blow to the chances of the superstars. Gifting runs here are the ideals. All these can be crucial towards the chase. Bit of a bubble there, a bad bounce for the fielder and it leaped over his hands. And uh, 139 for five, five wides immediately. That's the worst way to start an over. Now deep fine leg in place, short third man in place. And the rest of the fielders are boundary riders, long off, long on. Deep cover, deep mid-wicket. So there is an opportunity for a boundary through square leg. Maybe Kailash will swing across the line. Oh, excellent Yorker there. Jamming him up. But they scurry through for a single. Excellent response there from Maresh. Very thinking delivery because he wanted to go for a big hit. And he yoked it perfectly. Right kind of deliveries during death over. Absolutely, if he can bowl five more of those, his captain will be very happy. But it's quite difficult when you have power hitters like Sunmaker and Kailash on strike. If you miss your length by even a couple of inches, it might go all the way for six. This has been struck hard through mid-wicket, but the long one was quite active. But they're coming through for two, chance of a run out. No, they'll scurry through. Once again, a misfield. A bit of a cramp there for the fielders. It's quite tough conditions. Quite humid, quite muggy, and they're definitely struggling. And this is, of course, the second game of the day. So it's not easy out there at all, Mr. K.R. Yes, it is very, very... You need to drink a lot of water in this heat. It's not easy. Even all cricketers have undergone. And in fact, the bowler has started bowling without his fielder being in place. <laughs> Fantastic scenes here at the Divyang T20. Thankfully, now he's in position. Mm. He pulled out right at the last moment. That is the enthusiasm which we uh, play. They're focused on the bowler, on the batsman, and that's why he didn't bother about the fielder. Struck hard through mid-wicket once again, but this time he'll be cleaned up by the mid-wicket himself. Hard throw, stopping the second run. Fantastic throw there from the deep mid-wicket fielder. Came in like an absolute rifle shot. What a fielding that was. And a pick up and throw. Accurate to the core. And we need, need to remind our audience, this is the full charger ground. There are no shortened boundaries at all. This is full length and full size. Kailash on strike. 143 for 5 are Chennai. Smash through extra cover. That is going all the way for 4. Not a fielder has moved. Unbelievable shot there from Kailash. Stepping out and thrashing it through extra cover. Boundary. It went like a bullet. Look at that. He comes in a waltz. The moment it stuck his bat, it has gone. Gone, gone, gone for a boundary. 
Not a single fielder moved there. And the target that Sachin Siva, the captain of Chennai, wanted was 150. They're just three runs short. And eight deliveries still remaining in the innings. That should be a bonus. Oh, inside edge might have gone past the keeper. There's a deep fine leg in place, but he won't get around. Another boundary. This is absolutely going pear-shaped here for the Mumbai Ideals. Back-to-back -back boundaries and 151 on the board. Last one, last one. It's last runs one, last are one. flowing no, no. easily. And this was a mighty <laughs> shot. And the keeper left it. So did the fielder too. Last delivery of the Murray spell. He's been expensive in this over five wides and then back-to-back -back boundaries have been an absolute killer blow for his figures. 35 runs conceded in his four overs and still one delivery left. A very fine, deep fine leg. Short third man. Deep extra cover, long off, long on and deep mid wicket. Coming into Kailash. This has been struck hard down the ground, but straight to long on for a single. One over remaining in the innings for Chennai Superstars. 152 for five. Actually, the mission achieved. 150, it's done. And now whatever is taken in this over is just a bonus. Excellent batting. Sunmaker, Kailash, all of them striking well. Right then, let's take a look at the Chennai Superstars batting card. Jaddu Rajesh has gone early, 5 of 6. Sachin Siva, the captain, 27 of 30, 32. But it was MS Siva, the main run scorer, 41 of 31. And now Sunmaker, 17 of 14, backed up by Kailash. So good contributions right throughout the order. 32 extras. That is quite remarkable. In a 20-over game, if you're giving 30-plus runs just in extras, you have nowhere to hide, Mr. K.R. Yes, in, in T2, especially in limited over, you give more extras, that means you are gifting a lot of runs to the opponents. Right then, it's Makhan Rajput, two overs, 21 runs conceded, got the two wickets to his name in his three over spell, and the last over with Kailash and Sunmaker hunting for runs. This is going to be a challenge. Let's take a look at his field. Long off, long on in place, deep mid wicket in place. Final leg in the circle, third man in the circle, and there's a deep cover point as well. So the scoop shot can be on, or the dab past the keeper is very much a possibility. And no square leg as well, so definitely a very big opportunity. And Kailash seems to be shaping up to hit the ball on the leg side as well. This will be very interesting. It's all set to hit it. Look at that. Hard hit down the ground, but long off will come around. Miss field, and that's gone for four. Unbelievable stuff here. Mumbai Ideals are giving the game away with the poor fielding. Yet another boundary conceded. It was very poor fielding. Look at that. It could have been stopped. And Through the legs, and that is unbelievable. That is poor technique there from the Mumbai Ideals fielder. Cannot do that. That is criminal at this stage. Five deliveries remaining. 156 on the board. Handy cameo here from Kailash. 10 of 7 hitting boundaries. Sunmaker as well. Together, they've been a very power-packed middle order for the superstars. A big hit down the ground over long off. And that is going all the way for six. Kailash has smashed him. Over wide long offer, yet another six. Unbelievable batting, the sixth tournament six in the Divyang T20. What a way to finish the innings. From the moment that he stepped out and connected it, it was a sure four. Look Let's, at that. Let me take a look. I thought that went all the way, but it could be a four. Look at that. Big, huge swing of the bat there from Kailash. And... Uh, 
That is a six in my eyes, Mr. K.R. It is. Another hard hit down the ground. Long on will get around and yes, gets a foot on it, but they'll just take one. That could, should have been two, to be quite honest. And Kailash is shouting at his partner, why aren't you giving me the strike? And he has, and he's well within his rights to do that. He's striking the ball beautifully. Yes, he's seeing the ball like a football. Three deliveries remaining, 161 already on the board. This is going to be a mega run chase for Mumbai Ideals. And they need to finish well here. Just to give them a bit of momentum, a bit of positive energy going back into the dugout. Makan's analysis doesn't look impressive. Indeed, this last over being spoiled by some poor feeling, but here he is once again. Struck him on the pad and that'll be just a single, so a bit of relief there. With fine leg in the circle though, that was a very dangerous delivery to bowl. But thankfully, only a single. Exactly. A good total and a good chase towards the night will be exciting, but let's see how they can chase it. 162 for 5, two deliveries remaining in the innings for Chennai. Oh. And a no ball has been given by Makhan. Unbelievable. When it rains, it pours for the Mumbai ideals. Misfeeling, poor shots, poor execution on the boundary. And now a free hit here for Chennai superstars because of the no ball by Makhan Rajput. When things go wrong, everything goes wrong. That's what is happening here. Look at the number of extras, more extras. Very poor outing here for the Mumbai Ideals. 34 extras given in a 20 over game. That is quite astounding. Right then, a free hit with Sunmaker on strike. Kailash, uh, Makhan speedy, speeding in. Hard hit through extra cover and that may go all the way for four. Yes, it does. Blaze through the extra cover boundary once again. Sunmaker is making it rain at the Sharja Cricket Stadium. Boundary. It made the fielder run after the ball just watching it cross the boundary. Look at that. He hit it with par and there is the fielder. Just have to run just to retrieve the ball. All that that could be done was that only. Makhan Rajput's over, uh, figures are being ruined here. Gone for three boundaries and given a free hit. Last delivery of the innings. 168 for 5 are Chennai. Here we go. Another no ball. Unbelievable stuff. This has been carved to deep point. But this innings just refuses to end and the extras just keep piling up. This is too much of... Pla lack of planning is happening or what? I do not know. 170 on the board here already for the Chennai superstars. They couldn't have even dreamed of such an innings. The captain was aiming for 150. He's got 20 more. And a free hit on the last ball. Kailash on strike. Makhan steaming in. No. Another no ball. Unbelievable. What is happening here at the Divyang T20? This has been stopped by the third man fielder, but it's another free hit and Makhan Rajput has completely gone haywire. Looks like they wanted to make it 36 extras. Unbelievable scenes here. Just walk in and bowl it, mate. Why are you bowling a full run up? Once again overstepping and didn't time it. Otherwise, the way he swung at that one, it would have landed outside on the road. 172 for five. This match... This innings refuses to end. Finally behind the line. Cut away to deep point and it'll only be a single. Will they run for two? Yes, they will. Chance for a run out. And there it is. It has been executed. So 173 for six 
is what Chennai superstars have managed in their 20 overs. A fantastic batting effort. A super batting effort indeed. A lovely score. And this over has been a boom for the batting side. They have been steady contributions all around. Kailash, Sunmaker, MS Siva, Sachin Siva, the captain as well. Everybody doing their part. And the collective has been a huge target of 174 in 20 overs. Mumbai ideals will have to bat out of their skins to chase the score in this late evening game at the Divyang T20. Splendid show from Chennai. They, they showed the might of their batting looks a bit down after such a poor display, but they should walk with their heads high to make sure that they chase the total. If you drop your shoulder, then it's finished. Absolutely. They have a very strong batting lineup as well, but uh, their bowling has been very erratic. And look at that. Mumbai ideals need 174 runs to win. A massive target to chase at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. But it is very possible. It's a batting track, very flat. A bit of due factor will aid the batting when it's difficult for the spinners to grip the ball. But uh, they've got it all to do then. Let's take a look at the batting card then for the Chennai superstars. Look at that. Jaddu Rajesh, 5 of 6. Sachin Siva, the captain, held it together. 27 of 32. But it was MS Siva, 41 of 31. Sandy, bright and breezy, 12 of 12. Sunmaker, 23 of 18, hitting some key boundaries. Kailash with 17 of 11. And look at that, 36 extras given away by a very erratic Mumbai ideals, ideals bo bowling unit. And target being 174 in 20 overs. Shiva and uh, Sunmaker and Kailash were brilliant. That's the way the... A T20 inning should be built, and they have done it. Let's take a look at the Mumbai Ideals bowling card then. Maresha, the fast bowler, four overs done for 36. Makhan Singh Rajput, horrible last over, otherwise he had bowled quite well, two for 41. Mahantesh, steady as always, zero for 24. Mohammad Javed got two wickets but went for 34, and the captain, Brijesh Divivedi. Reliable as always, 1 for 27 in his 4 overs. 36 extras. Let's take a look at the highlights of that batting innings for Chennai Superstars then. Look at that. Good hard cut pass point. But then Makhan Singh Rajput with a gem of a delivery. Knocked back the middle stump. Then Mohammad Javed once again pulling through mid-wicket. Good boundary shot there as well. Then it was MS Siva counter-attacking in style. Even British Vivedi was not spared. Good scorching drive through extra cover. And plenty of boundaries there. Makhan Singh once again coming in to Kailash. But that was a gem of a delivery to MS Siva. That was a rare good moment for Makhan Rajput. And then it went all pear-shaped. Poor fielding on the boundary ropes. That was a very poor effort. And then the no-ball spree began. And they started swinging for the fences. That was a good extra cover drive as well. So 174 is the target for Mumbai Ideals. We'll take a short break and be right back.
Right then, welcome back to the final innings of the final game of DPL 2021 tonight. Mumbai Ideals need 174 runs to win a big target set for them by the Chennai Superstars. The Chennai Superstars are out in the middle, just waiting for the Mumbai openers to step out across the white line. And joining me in commentaries as always, Mr. K.R. Nair. Sir, how are you? Well, uh, thank you, uh, Ahmad. Uh, this looks like a big chase. If they will go all the way, we will be well into the midnight. Uh, not midnight, much beyond that. And uh, here is uh, the scorecard. Jadu Rajesh, uh, 5. Sachin Shiva, 27 of 32 balls. And Karthik, 12 of 13 balls. But it was Yamva Shiva, 41 of 31 balls. And Sandy hit a quick 12 of 12. And Sunmaker made it brilliant through a 23 ball of 18 runs. And Kailash with an unbeaten 17 ensured 178 for 6 with extras 36. 36 extras. That was a quite remarkable effort. But here comes the Mumbai openers then. All ready to set and to chase a very big target. What are your predictions, Mr. K.R.? What do you think? It all depends on the uh, positive approach that Mumbai would have. Because if they can walk in, forget what is the pressure on them and bat on the ball on its merit, they can go to the target. Because 2020, it can tilt anyway. And it all depends on how positive you are, how broad-shouldered you are, and not drop your shoulders, and then bat on. Absolutely. And of course, the charge up pitch is always a belter, always suited for batting. There might be a bit of dew factor there as well, so that might trouble the Chennai spinners. From the batting point of view, it's a nice wicket. But it all depends on how they hold their nerves. To chase that much, that bigger total is not an easy one. Absolutely. Now, Suraj will be on strike. He is the hard-hitting wicket-keeper opener for Mumbai Ideals. A slip and a gully in place. Very interesting field there. And a widish third man with a deep fine leg outside the circle. Beaten outside the off stump. Good delivery there. Good start there by Chennai. And... Uh, some loose footwork there from the Mumbai openers. He played it and missed it. And Santi he really looks tall and excellent and hit the deck very well with his first delivery. Good delivery works straight to square leg. Yes, no chance for a run out. Oh my God, but overthrows at the cover fielder. And they're going to get the two runs eventually bit of a relay throw that's been messed up there but an all action delivery there action thriller has started with a lot of action <laughs> <laughs> of course Mumbai and Chennai the homes of the biggest movie industries in the world <laughs> yes uh, and in fact Chennai is a uh, City, which is ruled by act film actors. Absolutely. Very aggressive field set here. Made off, made on in the circle. Covered in the circle. Nobody on the square leg boundary. Big wide there from Sandy, though. An excellent keeping from Kailash, though. Very sprightly behind the stumps. With the way he moved and collected is brilliant. The ball was moving further and he picked it correctly. Three for no loss after 0 0.2. Sandy getting some outswing there, but needs to correct his line. Beautiful delivery, and that is again given as a wide. That's quite harsh, Mr. K.R. Yes, uh, but seems to be very strict, the mm. umpire. Absolutely no margin for error with him. But look at that slip cord in there. There's a basically a third slip. 
and a gully in place so very very interesting attacking field here look at that and they have another wide gully and a backward point so they want him to chase that wide ball and they have all those catches in place fantastic captaincy here from Sachin Seva plan is to bowl outside the off stem and there again he does it he plays and misses and all the fielders are waiting anxiously for that tick <laughs> Fantastic stuff here from the Chennai superstars. Really playing like superstars. Look at that. Second slip in place. A gully in place. Another wide gully in place. Backward point. Super aggressive on the offside. And he's bowled it on middle and leg. And they'll just kick it away for a single. So the double bluff didn't work there for Chennai. Yes, it's a leg by. Now the left-hander is on strike, Mayur. So immediately the slip cordon switches to the other side. Same aggressive field. Basically a third slip, a gully in place, a backward point in place, mid-off mid-on in the circle and a deep fine leg and a deep third man. So they're not going to pitch anything up and they're going to bowl it outside off. Lovely cut shot there from Mayur. Deep third man in action, does a fine job, good collection and a hard throw, only a single but an elegant looking square drive there. That's a beauty of a shot, imagine, went perfectly below the ball, reminded me of David Gova. <laughs> Absolutely, Suraj on 2 of 4, Vibhu getting off the mark immediately, same aggressive slip cordon there for Sandy. And what a boost it must be for his confidence to see his captain giving him such an aggressive field. <laughs> Beaten outside off and that is not given as a wide over. Mumbai ideal six for no loss after the first over. He played and missed at least three times in this over. And a long way to go. Right then, six for no loss after the first over. Chasing a big target of 174 are the Mumbai Ideals. Going to be Vibhu on strike. Same aggressive field here once again. A third slip, a gully, a widish gully, backward point. Vibhabhai Karana Rabari, what a name, fantastic. But we'll just call him Vibhu. <laughs> so many characters in that name. I but think all the tough names uh, <laughs> comes your way. <laughs> They're mentally tough cricketers and they've got the names to back them as well. So it's going to be Kailash, is it, to bowl? Yes, it is, the big unit, the hard hitter. Looks to be a seam bowler as well. Oh, Ooh, big outswinger there onto the pads and Vivu had absolutely no idea which way it was going. Yes, let's see his uh, umpire is at two. Yes, now he has signal leg by. And I think he might have got him on the boot there, so that was a pain, painful blow, but he's telling Kailash it's fine. So we can see why Sachin is pu putting such an aggressive field in the slip cordon. Both his bowlers swing the ball beautifully. The movement is very good, especially in these kind of conditions. Seven for no loss after 1.1. Kailash got that swagger, got that attitude of a burly fast bowler. He looks mean and he looks dangerous. Yes. And Big outswinger there. Sura chased it but beaten completely. Fantastic bowling under lights here at Charger. Surat's name will have to be changed to James Hadley Chase. The way he has been chasing and missing. Good drive to mid-off, but just for a single. Oh, chance of a run out there? No. 
but uh, Suraj was looking a bit nervous and wanted to get off strike there. The umpire has been hit by the ball. Well, that's because of all those wides he got in the first over. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate throw. Mumbai dugout looking quite anxious, quite tense. It's a big chase. Yes, it's indeed a chase. Anxious faces. Look at the way his hand. Oh Bold him! Oh. What a delivery there, in swinger. And Vibhu has been cleaned up by Kailash. Middle stump has been knocked back. Mumbai ideals, eight for one. It's a class delivery. Look at that ball. The way it came in and went and hit the step. Just knocked the off stick back. Vibhu had absolutely no chance on that in-swinger from Kailash. Fantastic delivery. Only one run given away in his four deliveries. And insult to injury after getting hit on the... On the toes, he's now been clean bowled. I like that delivery. It was a beauty of the way it moved. It's a treat to watch. I don't know the kind of deliveries that we have seen today. Some of them are class which could even clean bowl some of the greats of the game. That kind of delivery is there bowling. Absolutely. Must give appreciation to the coach, assistant coach Deepak Kamboj. He's trained these guys beautifully. They've swing the ball, genuinely swing the ball. And we've seen some fantastic clean ball deliveries, in swingers, out swingers. <laughs> Truly been top quality stuff here. So an early wicket to fall, which is not good from the point of view of chasing a tall score. You need to keep some wickets, build a big st uh, total, and then for the go the shots. Now the next batsman, Brajesh Divedi, and is the captain. Absolutely oh. taking the responsibility of the run chase, but uh, same aggressive field there. Second slip, gully, backward point, a widish gully, and third man and fine leg outside the circle so anything is pitched up is gonna go but anything wide outside off you're in serious danger of nicking it off another beautiful delivery there from Kailash he's getting some serious movement under lights at Charger that's a treat to watch him move He's making the batsmen play and beats them. Every batsman he has beaten now. This has been hit over cover point. Down to third man and going all the way for four. Beautiful timing on that one. Mumbai ideals 12 for one after two wow. overs. That has picked well. And it went through the gaps. Look at that shot. It was... Zoomed over the fielders and despite a frantic effort by the fielder to bootstop it, couldn't reach the ball. The timing on that shot, Mr. K.R. absolutely nailed it. It just sailed away towards that third man boundary. Hell of a bat he has over there. That's a lovely shot. Such shots more are needed if... The score has to go at a high space, but some of the bowlers have been on spot. Right then, Sandy continuing his spell from the commentary box end. Another big flashing drive, not given as a wide. Interesting decision there, but he's definitely testing Suraj. Absolutely nothing on middle and leg. Everything is wide or off. Look at that fantastic field. There's a second slip. There's a gully. There's a wide gully. Deep point has been pushed back. So he's really playing with the mind of Suraj here right now. Another beautiful outswinger there from Sandy. Pulled back the length and bowled it a bit straighter. And Suraj chased it and was lucky not to get the edge. This is fantastic exhibition of seam bowling. 
it looks like they are very sure that Suraj has a weakness outside the off stump and he is beating with at least about six times he has beaten. Too short and too wide this time, but there's a very concrete plan. They're going not, not going to give anything straight to Suraj. They're going to make him chase the ball outside off. And if he hits it for four, good for him. Otherwise, they have the slips in place. Exactly. The plan is brilliant and he's bowling to the field. Straight edge delivery work to the leg side for a single. So Suraj will be relieved to get off the mark. He was being tested here by Sandy. A run added to the score. Wonder if he would have bowled that delivery also outside what would have happened. This is the only delivery that came in after a long time. Absolutely excellent exhibition of swing bowling here. Persistent outswingers, wide of off, wide of off, and then just a straighter one that Suraj worked into the leg side. Same field here for Brajesh as well. Full ring on the offside, a veritable ring. He has absolutely nowhere to go, and their mere presence is creating pressure. And he bowls a big in swinger that's gone off the pads, but they've scurried through for a single. They appealed for a leg before, but it was definitely going down. And they utilized the opportunity for a single. Not the power play that the Mumbai ideals needed. It's almost midnight here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, but the action is just as riveting even though it may go on to continue till tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Two-day 2020 match, we can call it. Lovely punch through the covers, but straight to the fielder, but they sneak through for a single chance for overthrows. And miss field by the covering fielder will allow them to get another run. The overthrows have been... Uh, problem for almost all the teams uh, we have seen uh, overthrows being gifted it's basically because uh, they're powerful in their throw but not faster to cover up oh inside edge there and squeezed away to the leg side once again just for a single Mumbai ideals 18 for one after three overs. So the chase is just hotting up as the clock moves towards 12 o'clock. It's it's. The city has gone to sleep. Although due to Ramadan, there is a lot of cars outside. Yes, absolutely. The holy month of Ramadan began just yesterday. So wishing all of you a very happy and blessed Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. And now Kailash once again continuing from the other end. Oh, big appeal, big appeal, big appeal, and he's given. Suraj has been caught plumb in front. An outswinger catches him on middle and leg, and that man, Kailash, gets a big wicket. That was a beauty of a delivery. Look at that. He bowled on foot and came in and just hit. And the umpire has no doubt because it was plumb. Struck him right in front of middle stump and that man Kailash, what a match he's having. Quick runs and now two wickets with the new ball. Oh Mumbai ideals 18 for two and in all sorts of trouble here. Their main man Suraj Kumar Mankele going for just seven runs of 13. Really struggled there and that was one heck of an outswinger to get him. Suraj was off color in this innings. At least in his 13 balls. He was beaten outside at least in seven deliveries. 
and <laughs> now it's Mohammed Javed coming out to bat for Mumbai Ideals. He'll be a key player, very handy all-rounder. Bowls some swinging in swingers, and then of course packs a punch with the bat. So the Mumbai Ideals dugout looking very tense, very morose at the moment. Yeah, the hand on the chin shows the story. Mohammad Javid, 32 runs from two innings. And let's see whether he can accelerate the run rate and counter this man's accurate bowling. Wearing the 3 3 3 just like. Chris Gale, the universe boss. So Kailash, I guess, fancies himself as a bit of a universe boss himself. Today he has been anyhow the boss of the evening. Look at that slip, Gordon. First slip, second slip, third slip and a gully. This is test match stuff here from Chennai Superstars. Fantastic scenes. Oh, great Yorker there. Bit of an inside edge, leading edge there from Mohammad Javed. If he had missed that, he wouldn't need to look at the umpire. He should have just turned around and gone back to the pavilion. He could have walked comfortable. And look at that. 18 for 2 in 3.2 overs. Javed had to take off the mark and Brajesh on 4. Looks like... Oh, short and wide. Slashed at it but missed it. And uh, Ramesh there, the wheelchair captain of India. He's definitely decided he's in the Mumbai camp. <laughs> yes, he is. He's, he wears the T-shirt too. Very true. Represents Maharashtra in IWPL. Oh, chase that one. Half an appeal there. But this is sensational bowling here from Kailash. And if I was Sachin Siva, the Chennai captain, I would give him another over here, Mr. K.R. <laughs> It's, it's, it's really worth. And he's adding yet another fielder to that slip cordon. Look at that. Three slips and two gullies. This is outstanding stuff here from the Chennai superstars. I'm reminded of Megra. Absolutely. When he bowled in this one here against Pakistan with all the fielders on the slips. And it was a summer, and I remember that day. I couldn't walk. look at the computer. And they're wearing the yellow of Australia, so it definitely does remind of them. Fantastic scenes. Big appeal, hit right in front, and oh, it's slightly high. Uh, but it's dribbled away for leg buys and gone all the way for four through the slip cordon, Mr. Wow, K.R. That is a tragedy of... <laughs> There were so many field slip fielders and it hits and goes through the slip fielders for a boundary. That did look very, very close there, but a fantastic over from Kailash once again and Mr. Ramesh showing us his loyalties, his allegiance is definitely to the blue and black of Mumbai. Yes. Plenty of dignitaries here. Wearing that maroon blazer of the Divyang national team must be a very proud moment for them. 22 for 2 after 4 overs. Kailash only 5 runs conceded in his 2 overs. Sensational bowling here. And the captain Brijesh now on strike. Let's see how it goes for him. Plenty of happy scenes, happy faces in the dugouts. They're just thrilled to be here. And here's Sandy also continuing. It's driven into the leg side, but there's a mid-wicket, short mid-wicket in place. So there's a short fine leg, a short mid-wicket, a mid-on, a mid-off, and just one slip, surprisingly. A bit of a second slip, a fly slip. 
but there's a sort of a fine gully and there's a backward point. So Sachin Siva, <laughs> very aggressive captain. What a, what a field setting, huh? especially in the last over, we, it was remarkable. Attacking captain. Huh? Absolutely, have to love his approach. Good delivery right on off in middle, going through for a quick single. Shy at the stumps, but it's missed. And overthrows here, and the square leg fielder caught on his heels. Chance for a run out, but the throw was just not accurate enough. So some fortunate runs here for Mumbai Ideals. Uh, it adds to the list of overthrows that we saw throughout the day. Captain Brijesh on six of five. Mohammad Javed yet to get off the mark. He's been thoroughly tested outside his off stump by Kailash and now Sandy. So a very, very potent unit here for the Chennai superstars. Inside edge and there's no fine leg in place. That is going to go all the way for four. A lucky boundary. A French cut there by Brijesh. 28 for two. A French cut fetches a boundary. And very lucky. He would have played it on, just see that. Almost he could have played it on. And lucky that it went for a boundary too. Fortune favors the brave indeed. And uh, Prajesh now readjusting his guard. The Mumbai dugout looking quite glum right now. Even the assistant coach Deepak looking very concerned. Once again, an inside edge, but goes straight to fine leg this time. But they'll sneak through for a single. Inner edge has been flowing, which means they are not able to read the bowling. Santi is on the spot. All the bowlers who have bowled for Chennai has been spot on, which means they have come here after the excellent training. Absolutely, I really like their seam bowling unit and their batting is power packed. They got hitters in the middle order, in the top order as well. So they do look like a very fearsome unit, just waiting to examine their spin options. Other than that, they look like the team to beat, Mr. KR. I think one of the most confident teams that we saw today. Oh, big drive there from Javed and beaten all ends up. Sandy has bowled an exceptional spell here. Only 17 runs given away in his 2.5 overs. Fantastic bowling. Imagine they are reaching the five over mark and not even reached 30 runs. Chasing a huge target of 174. Now Sachin Siva cleverly pushing the mid off back to long off just in case there's a big hit. Hard hit down the ground and that may go all the way for four. Yes, it does. Good hard drive there from Mohammad Javed clearing his front leg and driving it through the line. 33 for two after five overs are the Mumbai ideals. That is the kind of positive approach and positive shots that you play. Look at that. Very well played and evaded the umpire. Twinkle toes there from the umpire. Did well to get out of the way from that hard drive from Mohammad Javed. You almost jumped into the way. <laughs> right, there are some dignitaries at the sideline there. Mr. Mazhar Khan, of course, the GM, the head honcho here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, and some other dignitaries. All of them are discussing this special Premier League, which has added glitter to this ground too. Absolutely, we've hosted PSL, IPL and now the DPL is also in there to be counted. Kailash continuing and a big wide there. That's quite rare from him. He's been so accurate, giving only five runs away. But perhaps trying a little bit extra there, trying to bowl a magic ball. Among all the tournaments here, we also forgot to tell one more thing. That, uh, the D10 and T10. That was also an addition here we saw, a special. Started from here. 
This time tucked away towards mid wicket. Chance for two runs. Good running here from Mumbai Ideals. Comfortably gather, getting through. Yes, this is indeed the birthplace of T10 cricket, you can say. Sharjah, always the home of innovations and thinking out of the box. So much white ball cricket has begun here and existed here for so many years now. Truly the home of ODI cricket. Inside edge, just bouncing in front of the keeper. Fantastic take there once again. That's a, that is another good delivery. If limited over cricket has gained so much popularity, this ground has played a big role. That's Ms. Ghazal Khan, the CEO of the Devang Cricket Board for Cricket Control in India. Very hardworking lady there. Gave a lot of input and a lot of background knowledge on how this event took place. 36 for 2 after 5.2. Brijesh on 13 of 9, the captain. Counter-attacking the superstars. We have seen Brajesh as a good bowler. And today, now we are seeing him as a batsman. If he can deliver, he can prove to be an excellent all-rounder. A lovely flick through square leg. Fantastically timed that shot. Square leg giving hard chase and just going to pull it in, is it? Yes, he has. Well timed there by Brijesh. And they'll get... Only two runs though. I like the way he turned that shot. Just got me in the ball and just, I think it is a one hand turn. One of the co organizers of DPL 2021 there. His name is Dr. D. Paul Prapakar. He's of Eurotech Gas Service which has supported the event. We truly appreciate their patronage and they're supporting a very worthy cause, promoting uh, cricket the overseas. La the last shot we played with that one hand. What do you call it? Can you call it a flick? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And good feeling there from Sunmaker. Oh, needs to be careful with that trailing foot, but seems like it was well done in the end. Kailash now coming around the wicket. Is he? Yes, he is. Very interesting. A change of tactic. I turn round to you. Is he going to bowl spin? I think he has that short run up, just takes a couple of steps and fires it in. A bit like Andre Russell for KKR. Oh, uppish drive there, but was not a cotton bowl attempt. Just falling short and look at that beautiful trophy again for the DPL 2021. This is what everybody is competing for. The grand prize for all the bragging rights. Looks magnificent. Brute of a delivery there from Kailash once again. Completely beats Javed outside off stump. This guy is a serious bowler. The plan is very clear. Beat them outside the off stump. That's it. And Mumbai has been falling into it. Absolutely, not trying to bowl magic deliveries, trying to knock the off pole, leg pole anywhere. Just pull it outside off and challenge them. Another play and a miss there from Javed. Six overs are gone by. Mumbai Ideals are 39 for two. I think whoever has to win against Chennai will have to be strong outside the off stump. Fantastic spell there from Kailash. Two for 11 in his three overs. Just the kind of bowler you need in the power play. Only 39's given away, 39 runs sorry, given away by uh, Chennai Superstars in six overs. And when they're defending 174, they'll take that each and every day. That is Mr. Harun Rashid, one of the founding fathers of the WCCBI. Fantastic person, had a great conversation with him. And that maroon blazer of the Divyang Indian national team. That's truly a prized asset for anybody who loves this beautiful game. Arun Rashid is a happy man that he could bring this tournament here and fulfill the dreams of the cricketers who wanted to play on this ground.
Now here comes Srini on to bowl. Another seamer. Excellent delivery right on middle and off. Chance for a run out. Oh, but the direct hit has missed. And Emma Siva, the keeper, just a bit late on that one. Perfectly positioned. Mashar Khan discussing cricket. This man has truly dedicated his life to serving the game of cricket in the UAE. And Mr. Morgan there with him. Another dignitary who supported this cause. Length delivery from Srini, driven hard to long off, pushing for two, but they will only get one. Money there at long off. So another hard working seamer, Srini, hits the pitch hard and very accurate. They have come here with excellent practice, excellent training, and a clean plan. Outside the off stem, concentrate and beat the batsman. This time, leg buys into mid-wicket. Oh, and overthrows an opportunity here. Yes, uh, long off was dilly-dallying. Just very relaxed, very casual. And I think the captain, Sachin Siva, will not be happy with that. Wish I could get a count of overthrows today. Chennai dugout looking calm and relaxed, very confident of victory. 43 for two after six and a half overs. This time flicks through square leg and there's a deep mid wicket in place giving a hard chase. But uh, the ball will pull up eventually. Another two. So Brijesh is quietly batting really well, 19 of 13. Brijesh is taking the fight into the cricketer camp. Mashar, who has seen all kinds of cricket here, who has given sanction to most of these matches. Lovely punch through extra cover. What a shot from Brijesh. The deep cover field. Oh, that's a poor misfield once again. And that's four runs for Mumbai Ideals. I loved that shot. He's stood inside the crease and played it. Look at the way the flow in that shot. It truly looked like the ex-Aussie captain Steve Smith playing those back foot punches. Yes, it was a class shot and the fielder took it a bit easy at the boundary line. Look at that. Another trademark punch off the back foot from Brijesh. Confident looking shot and the 50 has been brought up at the end of the 7th over for the Mumbai Ideals. 50 for 2. Now, Brajesh going on to 24 of 15. Slowly building a total. He should play a captain's knock. And with a supporting role from someone, the we can see a good chase. But 124 of 78 balls. Right then, just a small reminder that the Divyang Premier League T20 2021 is an SF360 digital production, connecting sports digitally. So please do give your appreciation to our hardworking team, production team, especially our director, Mr. Shahid. Very committed, very dedicated individual. Yes. Very good effect. See the, this event is being watched all over India and many cricket lovers around the world. And honestly, I must say, Mr. Kerr, that I'm proud to be something new, something that is going to be huge in the future. And we are right there on day one of it. So we'll be remembered just like this tournament, that we were part of something that created a new path for able or disabled cricketers to show their skills and their qualities and their class and their efforts. This, this, this television coverage might be showcased as a reminder and we can 
the sound of ours can be a reminder. Good feeling at extra cover there. It's Jadu Sadhu Rajesh, I believe, the left arm spinner coming on to bowl. We've, we've seen very big, big numbers, 300, 400, but he's wearing number zero. Interesting. Maybe that zero is what he wants off his bowling. <laughs> the economy rate. Yes. Lolly, 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 come on, come on. Rajesh, get him, get him, boy. Easy, easy. Nice, elegant push once again there from Rajesh. He really times the ball really beautifully. You can hear the thwack of his bat. Very and, pleasing sound. And most of the time, the ball hits the middle of his bat. And when he plays that shot from the crease, it is perfect. Arm ball there from Rajesh. Very tricky ball he is. Fantastic shot of the coveted golden trophy of DPL 2021. Oh, Leading edge. Oh, and just beyond the bowler. And this sneaks through for a single. Rajesh has Brajesh in all sorts of trouble there. That was a risky shot. And while we were admiring the beauty of the trophy, it happened. Absolutely, we got dazzled by the beauty of it. And here it is once again. Look at that. That is one hell of a prize to have in your trophy cabinet, Mr. K.R. It looks magnificent and towering. They better give it away quickly or I'm going to steal it and take it home. <laughs> uh, it's midnight. Don't show it. <laughs> Inside edge there from Javed. Then they're going to scurry through for a single, perhaps push for two. No, just the one run. So Rajesh getting through is over very quickly. 51 for two of seven point. Five Run rate is steadily climbing above 10, so it's going to be a very tall order. And Brijesh will need to do something outstanding here. Bold him! What a delivery there! The arm ball from Rajesh just kept a little bit low, and the Mumbai Ideas captain has been knocked over for 25 of 20. Huge wicket there for the superstars. He couldn't believe that ball. Look at the way it came in and went inside. And so disappointed that, look at that, he is describing how it went in. He is so disappointed he cannot believe that he has been bowled for 25 of 20 balls by Rajesh. But a good innings. He played some lovely shots. He tried his best. Excellent variety in the Chennai Superstars attack. They have Sandy, aggressive new ball bowler. Kailash also swings it at high pace. Then Saddu Rajesh, left arm spin. So clever. That arm ball was an absolute thing of beauty. There was not a bowler that they had who wasted deliveries. All of them were spot on. It's brilliant. Right then, the new bowler is Money. Seems to be another spin bowler. Might be a medium pacer. Look at that. Thing. Look at the captain standing at slip. Kind of like Stephen Fel Fleming of New Zealand. <laughs> guiding his troops, but staying in the slip court. And he wasn't the one to stand at extra cover. He is a slipper. Yeah. Yes, I go. Sunil used to do that. Gavaskar slanted the slips and instruct. And it is in this very ground he stood there and for the Asia Cup he took four catches at the slips. Absolutely, what a match that was. Mohammad Javed now, the responsibility is on his shoulders as he faces up to Mani. Left arm around the wicket. Slip in place. It's the captain himself. And he's been caught at point. What a loose shot there from Mohammad Javed. And Mani comes into the attack and immediately produces a wicket. Mani bowled that delivery as if he wanted him to play and gift it to the fielder. And he exactly did it. Look at that. What a loose shot there from Javed. Turned away from him. And he's cursing himself. And a smart catch there 
at backward point. Fantastic stuff. The Chennai superstars are truly playing like superstars tonight. Very well judged and taken Mohamed Javed. Six of 13 balls and Karthik's very good catch of money. Very disappointed is Mohamed Javed. He was having a good day but until this loose shot cost him his wicket. Look at that once again. Flighted it outside off, turned away from him and uh, nothing short in the end to be quite honest. And a smart catch there from Karthik, moving well at backward point. He should get out. Rolling catch. Money is so thrilled. He has stuck the ball up uh, his arm. I like the way they keep the ball. The, all the bowlers you have seen, they'll keep it very tucked into their arm. As they have only one arm. After getting this guy out, then he can back. Okay. 52 for 4 then. Bit of discussion going on about who crossed and who didn't. But I don't believe they had enough time to cross between that dismissal. But no harm to make sure. Yes. Ampes. This kind of catches when it happens. He's not out. He's not out. Actually, he's the person to buy it. This guy. <laughs> Fantastic stump mic conversations going on right now. Bit of a mini round table conference there. <laughs> they discussed in Tamil. And since I see a lot of Tamil movies, I can make out. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's Mr. Harun Rashid, one of the founding fathers of uh, WICCBI. must be a happy man on how the tournament has shaped and it is being telecast and watched all over and the, and the quality of cricket has been also excellent right then Mahantesh the left arm spinner seems to have come out to bat so a bit of a tactical change here they want the left hander to attack the left arm spin of Mani and uh, Ramesh, Rajesh in fact. So good idea, good thinking here from Mumbai Ideals but uh, 52 for 4, that's one hell of a task at his hands. Mid off coming into the circle as long on is pushed back. There's a deep square leg in place. But the chances for boundaries behind the keeper on both sides. Leading edge, yes, no, maybe, yes, but they've snuck through for a single, oh, just about, oh, chance for a run out, oh, unbelievable scenes here, <laughs> confusion, utter confusion. Mahantesh was not supposed to run, but he did take off, and now they've taken the bails off, and this is kind of poor sportsman spirit, I must say, Mr. K.R. over here. Yes, that's exactly what has happened. He ran away. Unbelievable. Because each of them have a runner, so Mahantesh should not be running. But he did do that, and they whipped the bales off at the striker's end. There's always this happens uh, when you have a runner. Look at that, what happened. He plays it. And there it is. This was such an easy run out. You can see that. Look at that. But his runner is still trapped at the striker's end. In the end, he has been given out. So Mohantesh, clearly a bowler, not a batsman. And Chennai superstar is getting a wicket for free. A free gift. The earlier wicket also was a gift to the point and here he walks back disappointed. Right then, some drama late in the evening at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Money, what an over his bowl, producing wickets left, right and centre. Ready, 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 boys, easy. 
Let's get it smooth, easy boys. Keeper saying, let's get it smooth, <laughs> easy boys. <laughs> it definitely looks very easy when you make 170 and you have the opposition at 50 for 5. Money, the meaning is ring. The ring of defeat is started. Absolutely. Right then, slip in place for money. Down the leg side and he stumped him. What a wicket there. Money, you beauty, gets one down the leg side. And it looks like Mayu Ramesh has to go first ball. And umpire declares a wide two. Dear, oh dear, overbalancing, just went around his legs. And the keeper had the bills off in a flash. Look at that, outside the crease, his foot is in the air. Oh my God. His feet are all over the place. And look at the captain. He's like, oh, you're out of here, buddy. <laughs> this money over is turning out to be very eventful. He's got two wickets of his own and a run out. <laughs> Unbelievable scenes. 53 for six after 8.2. And we still have four deliveries left in this over. What has happened is a hat trick. But not hat trick of wickets. Fall. But not for him. Fifty-two for five half. The team is back in the pavilion in eight point two overs, chasing a mighty target of one hundred and seventy-four. The writing on the walls is very clear at midnight. Now it's Makhan Singh Rajput, the hard, the hard bowling seamer, coming out to bat. Let's see if he can swing his willow and get some quick runs here for the Mumbai Ideals. Slip in place, money on to bowl. Driven hard down the ground. That's the approach you need to take. Just lift your bat and go for it. I liked it to play such a shot for the first ball, even when wickets have fallen. That's a confidence. That's a positive approach. Absolutely. There's no point hanging around when you have another 120 odd runs to get in 11 overs. Swing for the fences. And now it's Mayur on strike. Look at that. Bold him. Money gets yet another wicket inside edge onto the stumps. And Mayur has gone for a golden duck. Money has got three wickets in a single over. What an over. He's left you speechless, Mr. K. <laughs> yes, the way the ball came in, beat him totally. He had played a rash shot. He could have played, he should have played it on the offside instead of he swung it and had his stumps shattered. Wicket, wicket, one wide and that was also a wicket and then yet another wicket. Unbelievable scenes here as M Mumbai Ideals going down in flames. 54 for 7 in the ninth over of the innings. Action filled uh, over. Looks like money, money decided that all his teammates can go to bed early. Look at that. He's got more wickets than he's conceded runs. And this is just his first over. Mayur Ramesh gone for a golden duck. A crazy shot swinging across the line to a ball that kept low. Let's see. A few more wickets. Oh, beautiful delivery once more. But I think the bales have not been knocked off. What has happened there, Mr. K.R.? It looked like it went through. Whether the ball hit the bales or the wicketkeeper's glove hit, the bales have gone down. Unbelievable over. Truly one of the greatest in DPL history, that's for sure. <laughs> I think it just came off the keeper in the end. Yeah, Nothing with the bat. Already. Off the pads and no, and that's a dot ball. Eventful over there from Money. 54 for 7 are Mumbai ideals after 9 overs. He deserves a pat on his back for putting the Chennai on a winning stage.
Absolutely. Completely took the game away with the wickets of Javed and then Mayur and then several more. 54 for 7. It's going to be a thumping win here for Chennai Superstars unless Makhan and Ravi go absolutely berserk in the last 11 overs. 120 runs needed. Makhan now on strike. Slip in place for that man Ramesh. Before the halfway mark, seven wickets down, only 57. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Another arm ball there, but squeezed away to point. That was oh so close. If it had just flicked his pad, it was absolutely game set and match for Makan. I couldn't believe it how he played that ball, <laughs> but it fetched him out. It was superb delivery. What a drive there from Ravi, just with one hand, unbelievable. The skill and ability to do that is quite remarkable. These guys are so gifted. Look at the way it went all the way, all along the ground. Oh, another arm ball just skims the off stump. How close was that? And a big smile on the face of Sadhu Ramesh. Jaddu Rajesh, sorry. Sadhu Rajesh, pardon me. Look at that. How close was it? It looked better. We came in and it almost touched the belts. Look at that. Oh. Oh my God. So, so close. And now a big breaking delivery. Went away from the batsman. Didn't pick it. And the keeper fluffed the stumping. Though I do feel he was in the crease. Excellent display of spin bowling here. And now the Mumbai camp looking quite dejected. And Chatting, chatting among themselves, <laughs> thinking about the next game. It's better this match is over for them. Oh, that? Quick oh, arm ball and oh, appeal for a stumping. <laughs> oh God, he's been given, I believe. MS Ravi, MS Siva, pardon me, has whipped off the bales in a flash, and Makhan has been given out. <laughs> Did Makhan go out gardening? The umpires are very harsh. No margin of error for them. Look at that MS Seva just waiting for him to step out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think this is called a stroll in the park. <laughs> After playing, he went for a stroll. Fantastic bit of keeping there from MS Seva. Very ruthless approach there. They're looking for wickets. They don't care about any sportsman spirit. They want to dismiss them in a hurry and go home and get to bed. That was... In fact, the bowler laughed at the... He waited for him to uh, make a stroll. And he did that. Look at that. Look at that. Just the half a second and Makhan lifted his right foot there. The bales are off in a flash and a big appeal. And the umpire had to agree. Yes, that is out. Poor stuff there from Makan, and I do feel sorry for him. Makan cannot believe it. What happened behind his back? Come on, come on, buddy, easy. 56 for 8. What an almighty collapse here for the ideals. Bold him! Oh. There you go. Just to Rajesh gets that famous arm ball right on target, and his leg peg has been knocked back. Unbelievable stuff here from Chennai superstars. This bowling is fantastic. This this team's bowling looks fantastic. Uh, especially let it take the bow, bow pace or spin. Both they look fantastic. That trademark arm ball of Rajesh once again. Just coming in with the arm and hitting middle and leg. Niaz came and went for a golden duck. 56 for 9 Mumbai ideals after 10 overs. What a thumping loss. Rajesh is spot on. The way he brings the ball and the accuracy is remarkable. <laughs> now, only one more wicket to go. 56 for 9 and 
they need 180 runs in 60 balls. Half a mark, the tail of the match has already been written. Chennai can start the celebration of the win. It's only a matter of time as to because that's the way Chennai had wrecked Bombay. Wickets fell like nine pins. Last batsman is there, Niaz. Down the leg side, it should be a wide, and it is. That was. It went down the leg. It tried too fast something. Let's see whether he strikes a better length this time. He, he loses his rhythm and umpire declares it a dead ball. Oh, that was that was played too late. And lucky he dare dug it out and on the spot fifty seven for nine in ten overs and this time he wanted to have a one handed flash shot, and it has been declared a white. Sometimes these shots take an outrage and gets a boundary. It is too wide a delivery and look, it sails, sails, lays. Oh, it stopped near the boundary. Uh, it was unfortunate that it did not cross the boundary line despite Wicket keeper missing it completely. Raj Mahesh was totally out of target. And this time outside he is beaten again. He wanted to play over the slips region and at 61 for 9. And Revy trying his best to stay on. Down the leg side, another wide. Especially after seeing other bowlers bowling so tight, this over we saw so many balls going as wide. That's not the Chennai Bowling attack once again. Looks like he is keen on extending the match. And here are all the dignitaries watching the match. And 111 needed of 58 balls, only one wicket. And that is played well to point. And the and 
Ravi with one hand. Oh, that was too close, but lucky he did not for go on to his wicket. 63 for 9. That is the Chennai team bag with the word Murugan written on it. And once again, it's a wide down the leg side. I think a bit of advice from Sandy. And oh, that was beaten. And yes, the umpire has again. How many wide? One, two, three, four, five, six wides I can count. So He's continuing this over. Only four balls have been so far bowled. Legal deliveries. Two more to go. How many more whites? Oh, that is beaten. Finally, he beat the batsman. Which means if he can bowl on the spot, he can beat the batsman. Let's see, he will complete the over without another white. No, he, will, he has ensured that it will be six whites in an over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whites in an over. And That is played to point. And over. that was Long over. Raj Raj Mahesh is hey, hey. must be relieved that his over is where he lost his rhythm. Eleven runs came off that over. And 67 for 9 in 11 overs. And here are the whites for your. And one. Ravi is taking fresh guard. The money who created all the drama is back into the attack again. Easy, easy boy. Come on. Look at his analysis. Fast, fast, fast. And let us see he will be able to finish it in this over. Bolling, 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 bolling. That is well played, Ravi. And that was spot on and they played it correctly. This time too. On the spot, well played, Mani. Ravi has played it very well. Mani has a marching delivery to the crease. He marches to the bowling crease and delivers. Look at his bowling. And that is a one handed, can we call a sweep? Or a swing, maybe a one hand swing. And the Chennai dugout getting ready to celebrate their victory. And this, and the last wicket is fighting it out. Devi is playing, refusing to give up his wicket. Let's see if money can do it. Oh, 
perfectly played and money is spot on i've been very impressed by the line and length of the chennai bowlers they are spot on except for the last over brilliant and i like the spirit with which ravi is fighting and and here is a time out with pause Here is the scoreboard where only Brajesh Devedi, who has reached double figures with 25 of 20 balls, four batsmen have scored ducks, and that is the Mumbai batting show today. 69 for nine. Bowling, bowling, bowling. That is spot on. They have changed the bowler who gave away. Eight whites, and have introduced Senthil, who who was spot on with the first ball, and, and once again played off the back foot, and no run, but well played. Sixty-nine for nine. The last wicket. Is refusing to give up, Ravi and Niyaz. Let's see, Senthil can do it. Outside the off stump, we wanted to play a slashing drive, but missed it. Niyaz fighting strong with his one hand, beaten, but stays on. Ravi has gone on to give a bit of an advice to Niyas, maybe to tap and take a single, or uh, what is the advice at this stage of the innings? Well played. The ball came in, but still he played it well. For money, who changed the course of the game to do the fielding? He said another stumping, and that is the end of Mumbai's resistance. They are all out for 69, and the last wicket to through. A stumping, and the innings ended in 13 overs. 69 all out, chasing a total of 174. And they did battle and stayed on. 
to delay Chennai's victory and they are clapping the their team back to the pavilion. Here is the lone man in the Mumbai team, the captain who played a fighting knock. Chennai superstar won by 104 runs. They were undoubtedly the superstars of the night. Splendid bowling display. They really put up a fantastic show. Their bowling was remarkable and an emphatic victory indeed, 104 runs victory. Chennai was too good and, and here And here is the batting card. Suraj Kumar Mankale for seven. And opener uh, Vipai Rabari also for one. And Brajesh Devadi played the long nook of 25 of 20 balls. All the rest of the batsmen were played single digit knocks and with four ducks. And that is the tale of Mumbai's innings. And despite that 24 extras, mainly due to uh, a bowler, Mahesh, bowling too many whites. They finished off the Mumbai innings in 13 overs and bowled them out for 69. So, look at the remarkable bowling to face. Sandy. 3 overs, 21 runs, no wicket. Kailash, 3 overs, 11 runs and 2 wickets. Srini bowled only 1 over, gave away 9 runs and no wicket. But Jaddu Rajesh, 2 overs, 4 runs and 3 wickets. And Mani, the man who turned the game on its head, that is 2 overs, 4 runs and 3 wickets. Raj Mahesh gave away one, bowled 1 over, gave away 11 runs. And Senthil bowled one over and took that one wicket and all out for 69. Here is the highlights. Oh, what a delivery that was to knock the off step. And this was brilliant undercut and that went oh that was a class delivery that came in and knocked his middles and this is the money magic <coughs> money money is another shot and, and another and another first of the brilliant stumpings and now next one and this is the dramatic stamping which saw the batsman astounding and walked away. And the, here is the... And that is Chennai Superstars 173 for 6. Shiva 41, Sachin Shiva 27, Sunmaker 23 and Makan Singh Rajput 2 for 41. Mohammad Javid 2 for 34 and Brajesh Divedi 1 for 27 and Mumbai Ideal 69 in 13 overs. Brajesh Divedi played a lone battle for 25 runs of 20 balls. Suraj Kumar Mankali 7 runs of 13 balls and Mohammad Javid 6 runs of 13 balls. But Jadu Rajesh was big among the bowlers. 3 for 4 and Mani who turned the match on his toes 3 wickets for 4 runs and Kailash 2 wickets for 11 runs and Chennai Superstars won by a whopping 104 runs over to the presentation and to Ahmad Khwaja
good evening and welcome to the post-match ceremony of match three of day two of DPL 2021 as Chennai superstars completed a thumping victory over the Mumbai ideals. I have Mr. Mazhar Khan here as the dignitary giving out the man of the match award to Mr. Kailash of Chennai superstars. Mr. Kailash, excellent performance today. How are you enjoying the wicket and the conditions at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium? Uh, thank you, sir. I uh, thanks to uh, Divyang Cricket Control of India, which is so big in Dubai. And to play in this Sharjah Stadium is a very good thing for me. And my life is a top class tournament. Top class tournament bhi ho raha hai aur aapki performance bhi top class ho rahi hai. Kya lagta hai ki final mein jaake kuch Chennai superstars ke liye ek aur ek mega star performance aapki taraf se aane wali hai? Ji, bilkul, bilkul, hundred percent meri taraf se aane wali hai. And the win the Chennai Chennai superstars in the final. Aapki batting bhi dhama ke dar hai, bowling bhi outstanding hai. Lekin aap apne aapko kya mante? All rounder, batsman ya bowler? Ah, all rounder. All rounder hi mante ho ki mera fielding aur bowling aur batting tino comfortable hai. It's me. Thank you so much, Kailash. Enjoy your reward. Can I now call on the captain of Chennai Superstars, Mr. Sachin Siva, to join me in the presentation ceremony. Hello, Sachin. Very well played by your team. Looking very dominant and looking forward to the title maybe tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. We will uh, definitely will, uh, win the trophy. We are uh, going to our best. You asked for a target of 150 at the toss, but you got 170. So do you think your batting lineup can produce this kind of performance consistently in this tournament? Every batsman will support this ground. Uh, actually, uh, I told 150 more, not 150, 150 more. I will told. Definitely, again, we will uh, take the first batting. Definitely, uh, final also, we are more than 150 runs will get. Congratulations on tonight's performance and enjoy it. Take care. Thank you so much. That's all from the presentation ceremony. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, Ahmad. Uh, that was action from the day. Three Splendid matches over the year, over the day with look at that first match Mumbai Ideals won by seven wickets beating Rajasthan Rajwadi and in the second match we saw Calcutta Knight Fighters uh, beat uh, Delhi Challengers by 69 runs and the third one was an emphatic win for Chennai Superstars by 104 runs over Mumbai Ideals. And this is from the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, signing off from first the, the first day, the third day of the Divang Premier League.